and we're talking about like moving in and how to get the movers to not scratch your stuff. More yeah, because more... Patrice is a homeowner. Shh. Well, I'm just oh, trying to say... Where you live? I'm, I know where I live. Shh. I'm just trying to say that you're growing up, and that's nice all to right, see. Right. I blame... You're growing up. I blame a girlfriend. I'll always go, could you not scratch the floor because my girlfriend gets pissed so I don't look like a total faggot? Oh, yeah, that won't make you look like... Because <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's going to hit me. I'm a battered boyfriend. Well, as, a, as a guy, it's hard to tell another guy, look, the floors, I do care about the way they look. <laughs> <laughs> when, whenever I have new furniture coming in, I grease the guy before he comes in, slip some cash, and then you go, but not at the end. You don't wait till the end. Right when they walk in the door, you give him some money, the lead guy, and you go, dude, do a good just job. watch. I go, watch the floors. They're like brand new wood floors. Just be careful. Don't now, scratch the Now floor. I know what I did wrong because when I uh, first got uh, my place here in Manhattan, the one yeah. I'm now moving out. You tipped a rat. I uh, No. <laughs> I got the last... Uh, cool really big tv before flat screens came down so this tv weighed four it's four eight to five feet wide i'm not kidding it, it weighs <laughs> front four, to back four to five hundred pounds and the next year uh, the flat screens decided drastically that's, drop that's and then everyone of, went and got the flat screens <laughs> that's yeah. how much a filled up fish tank weighs oh, <laughs> i guess, yeah i guarantee tv is made by buick i guarantee my tv yes weighs more than your filled up uh fish how, tank. how big is the bulb it's <laughs> His big bowman. <laughs> it was the largest picture tube you could get at the time. That wasn't, a, you know, that, and it wasn't a flat screen. It's actually obviously. people inside doing a play. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and these, always like component. And, and these guys, uh, these guys showed up with my TV. I was all excited, you know. Started making a little money in this business, and I splurged. And I'm telling you, the flat screens, you you still couldn't touch them. They were up at that stupid figure, like. Tens of thousands like ten, of dollars. Ten thousand dollars, you could have this twenty-five inch yeah, TV. Yeah, it wasn't even that. Yeah, exactly. Like right. Plasma is like a, re, a real a one of the. It's, a, it's the largest. Flat. It's the largest picture tube TV you could get. Forty, right? That's the biggest. Something one. like that. Yeah. Or forty. Yeah, it's a regular, like regular picture, like a regular old TV. Same technology <laughs> from when you know right. Uncle Milty was on. Right. Only huge. <laughs> Where you gotta hold it, the big back. Oh, you ever try to move one of those yourself? <laughs> Listen, and you're toppling over forward because the picture tube is eight feet long. You guys, let me have... tell you how. Let me tell you how old that TV is. It, it big. You let me tell you what. Any TV you gotta carry. Where the tube is on your stomach, yeah, <laughs> and, and somebody's lifting the back of the thing. It, that's an old television. That's Usually, old. It's, you get this side, you get this right. side, and all right, lift. And right, there's places for you to lift, but there's a, no place for this to lift. When you're done, you got all the dust on your t-shirt <laughs> from the picture tube. Wow. When it's so big, you gotta have somebody. You gotta put your windows out and have somebody pull it up from the cord. <laughs> See, they're coming in right now. It looks I, like you had a Franklin stove next to your wall, cause like there's great marks and. and soot that was coming out of your TV. <laughs> what the hell is this, a locomotive? <laughs> Listen, my, uh, Dave, really fast, my 36-inch Sony TV weighs 425 pounds. So I'm telling you, mine's oh. at least four, possibly 500 yeah. pounds. It shows up. I'm all excited. The guys show up with the moving truck, and I'm like, where's the dolly or whatever, the uh, thing to get the TV into my apartment? Oh, no, they rolled it. And over and they rolled and, his TV in, and and so I was you like, say, you know, this side up, rolling yeah. upside down, sideways a couple of times, and I was like, excuse me, could you not do that? And they looked, at, they gave me the look of death, like, do you realize how much this weighs? And continued to roll it, and I went, all right, all right, you're the experts, yeah, because <laughs> uh, they were scary, to be honest with you, I wasn't gonna mess with them. So and you had a homeless guy living in the box. Outside when you put yeah. the, the box oh, outside. Yeah. That's how that, big this That TV was like is. a luxury oh, yeah. west side oh, yeah. apartment for a homeless guy. He turned it into a loft. <laughs> yeah, he I rented a, it out, subletted. it. had a 61 inch, uh, uh, like one of the T now, 61 inch. Uh, Flat screen or LCD? Not, not, it's a, not just LCD, it's the projection. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The, the, I think two kids brought it in, two children brought it. It weighs <laughs> six pounds. It's like nothing now, yeah. It weighs six yeah. pounds. You can't get anything big and not get a, a projection anyway. Plus, I had to get a lot of TV. You know what? And it costs like a dime. I'm moving soon. TV staying. I can't. Uh, I You're don't. Not even gonna take it. I don't want it, and I can't even move it to give to somebody else. It has to just stay where it is. Nobody else wants it. I understand that. There's nothing usable about a TV with a back to it. There was a time. I don't know what happened. Like, remember, you used to get a TV, and you had that thing for years. I mean, I remember an old Zenith television where you know. 
you ch change the channel, and then when cable came around, same thing. You just popped the box on there, and you had the remote. You just put put it on channel three, and you had the same TV. There was a period of time that happened that Opie's talking about, and I got sucked into it too, where you bought these giant screen televisions, but they were six feet deep and weighed 6,000 pounds, and you, but you wanted the big screen. And then like two weeks later... Hey, new technology. Look at this. It's, fl it's, it's flat as a credit card. You can carry it with it. Fold it up like the Jetsons friggin' uh, car. <laughs> and it goes on your wall. I was the guy, man. What I, what I, what I do? I went, I, went, I went to this great place and, uh, you know, there was a nice sale and stuff. And they knew. They knew. They, they probably oh, had it was the, in the back. They there. probably had the truck in the, in the back lot. They were offloading the new stuff yeah, off but, the but, truck. All the flat screens at a reduced price. <laughs> they knew. Hey, we got another one out here. I probably. Another idiot. I probably bought the last heavy TV. Another <laughs> idiot's just made room for eight more of these TVs. You know what you could do with that? Just give it to someone with a pickup truck in the winter. You know how they have to wait on the back of the truck? <laughs> it's like bags of sand or this. Oh, it's just... I lost That's on that hilarious. one. hilarious. Um, got a real TV. <laughs> like a TV. Like a, a television. It takes no up television like set. With, with no technology. Hey, what's your TV? Just TV. The, the kind, uh, you know, the first one invented. I got Alice, we're the getting a television set. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> <laughs> takes up half my living room because it's so freaking. It's just takes up half the living room. I'm not even it's kidding. The TV with the whole episode of the yeah. honeymooners was about getting that new yeah, TV. Yeah, getting the new TV. <laughs> Hello, Captain Video. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Obi's TV comes with a uh, a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> His instructions: adjust the aerial uh, till the picture is optimum. I stink on so many oh, levels. God. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you just said that. I lose all the time. Hey, uh, Patrice O'Neill, he's doing the ONA traveling virus thing with us. And uh, we can't be, uh, oh, we couldn't yeah. be more excited. It's presented by Bud Light. Always worth it. We're heading uh, out right after the show. We're broadcasting live from WBCN tomorrow. And, of course, the show is Saturday at the DCU Center in Worcester, Mass. It's going to be great. we got all the comedians you know and love from this show. You do it all Tickets dates, still right? available. All four dates you're doing. Patrice I, I with think all so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very cool. You guys, yeah, uh, yeah. you want to get into some news with Big A? Oh, is he behind me? <laughs> yeah, he's been there the Jesus. whole time. All right, I'll move the uh, camera. Patrice, for the you got some cash people. on you today? No, mm -hmm. I didn't bring mm -hmm. you. Oh, wrong. No way. one has cash today. We want to do some I betting. Cash. I got cash. I bet twenty-five dollars. He can't say ST words, so we want to get some ST words that he would really have a problem with, and that we want to bet how long it takes him to to say the words. I bet one thousand quad lubes. <laughs> Those shoes. <laughs> you you are, are an oaf. Those shoes are awful. You really are orthopedic-y. <laughs> but look at the way these shoes are bending in. Poor Big A. Could you push him that way? <laughs> like, like, so I could see him a little? Like, move the whole mic and everything and just get that. Those shoes are... Oh, look at the headphone thing just stretching. His big head holding it like an anchor. <laughs> That's like... It looks like the anchor line of a destroyer. Big A, why don't you turn it around so the court is inspector across your face? Big A, for the first time, say hi to Chicago and San Francisco. Why are you making him suffer with this stretching of the headphones? Because he's got to get over there. Why? Oh, for the pal talk? Yeah, so we could see him. All right. And it's the middle of the room, you know, that's where he should be. Uh, yeah, I want him behind him. Yeah, and I don't want him directly behind me. The art of the blubber. He's breathing heavy. You got it? He's about to talk. Now that we wasted five minutes setting him up. Mm. Big A, for the first time, say hi to Chicago and San Francisco. Hi, Chicago. Yeah, San Francisco. Yeah. See how long that took? Um, yeah. Wasn't... And, and that wasn't even an ST word. And wow, he really, yeah. You know. Try to say uh, stammer. He started, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 13 seconds. See, oh, we got a contest. Who wants to Jesus. bet? Who wants to bet? This is going to work. Yeah. How much are you betting? Yeah, we need a clock. Who's time? Yeah, You're we, timing? Oh, we got all that.
Yeah. The boys came up with some great ST words. All right. Because we know one of these words will shut him down as a yeah. human being. He'll just, his head will explode. <laughs> It'll be over, right? <laughs> what, we have a word we want to, we want to, uh... Oh, we want to. Uh... Well, he's going to do the news really. Fa we haven't done anything uh, as far as like current events or news or anything today. So, yeah. Big A is going to help us out with that, and then we'll do a little betting, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, Big A, you feel good uh, about uh, being solo today? Um, yes, I told people I don't need um, Lewis here. Whoa. I don't need that hack. <laughs> wow. Oh, he used He's to brutal. He used to have a news partner. He's like Dino. Yeah. What happened? He's like Dean Martin. And uh, I don't know. He doesn't want Jerry Lewis with him anymore. People are getting sick of Twitchells. I, I, I think he's great. I, I, I want him on the show more. <laughs> he says his name too, Pratt. Louis Twitchell Santani. It, That's it, what bugs it, you, know, you know what it is? You know what bugs me? And I, and it started bugging the listeners. Just the fact that he started using his name like that. I'm Louis Twitchell Santani. Twitchell Santani. Are ya? That's what made it good. Yeah. No, it didn't. Yes, because it was. It made him too professional. <laughs> like yeah, he was yeah. trying to be too. It was too, so awful. It was, was good. He was throwing it up. Sick. Y'all make me sick. What's the matter, I said Patrice? It day one. Day. You one. did. You disrespect my 17 senses, man. I'm we would it. try. It's not even like I disagreed with you, but I was willing to give the benefit of the doubt. Why no one gets sick of Big A is because Big A, even though he. He knows he has a problem. He can't. There's nothing he can do about it. Mm -hmm. He's so. It's, he wants to be well. That's the reason that Big uh -huh. A is good. He wants to stop with the. Uh, oh, hold on. Instant feedback saying, could somebody move that Negro out of the way? And the same thing, uh, right next one down, can someone move that clan member out of the way? So I'm guessing they're talking about <laughs> Sam. Uh, you're in the way of the pal talk cameras. Patrice. Wait, where's the Sam song? Let's yeah. get an expert. Let's get an expert opinion from a genuine black man. We are trying to figure it out. What about him? Sam. What is he? Does he have black exactly. features? Not, n no, not black features. He's a strange looking kid. It's like, um, <laughs> <laughs> like he has, n he has Negro hair, but yeah. not one black feature. There's nothing. What about black the big eyebrows? You don't think there's something going Absolutely on? Not. You know what he looks show like? Him his th show him uh, uh, your thumb. Oh, Show thumb. Patrice your thumb. Look at this thing. What does that mean? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> is that, what is that? It has like an extra like uh, knuckle or something. So you saying... you're Jimmy the Greek? <laughs> That's why they're anything. so good at uh, catching the I'm football. Just... <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to really catch Ovi <laughs> and what he's saying. Are you saying he has a Negro thumb? Or... I don't oh, know what that? I'm saying. I, what I, is that, a monkey thumb? Look, what, is, what are you I trying to understand? Patrice, I would tell you, I don't know what it means. It, what is, is weird looking. It's He's as long as anomaly. his pointer fit in, his, his middle finger and his thumb are the same length. Yeah. Which you, is monkey like. Yeah. But I don't. He's got huge feet. Do you have a big uh, schwanz? I'm sure he does. You got <laughs> he, had, he had to be bust. Are you packing? Yes, he is. He's yeah. skinny How with many nothing inches? else going on. Yeah, it ha God, God just finds a way to do things. Here's like the thing, though, with him, and you say you jump to conclusions too quickly when you said he doesn't have any other black features. Look at him closely. None. Now, no, no, no. Look, look, look at his look nose. At him closely look at his and lips. Think, think of that. Look I'm not talking eyebrows. about your average black guy. Look at the forehead. Picture but him being an hour late. <laughs> Don't you do? Not even. No, do Have this. Have you seen do black this. guys that kind of like, he looks like no. the business black Squint. guy. Absolutely. Squint a little to get a little shade. Right, and then try. look at him. No, See? Nothing. See what happens? N nothing at all. Nothing. Like the guy that lives in Connecticut and is like, hey, I'm a black gentleman, but I like driving my uh, Lexus to work. And, I'm trying uh, to get a bead on what he looks like. It, it's, it's, it's like a, it's, there's nothing black. It's not even a Puerto Rican there. Like, it's not no, even a Puerto Rican face. Because his skin is so white. But he's, there's something going on there. Let's add this to the mix. Are you ready for this? Okay. Related to Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, who we know was out on the plantation. Without raping black women. And, yeah. Absolutely. I, th I, th I think he's related on the bad side. There is a whole, <laughs> bad side. There uh, is a whole uh, group of people that get together for reunions every year that are Thomas Jefferson's offspring. And we're not joking, and by the way, to the new cities. Up. He's actually yeah. related to Thomas and Jefferson. And he is. He's checked his genealogy, and it, it goes back to Thomas Jefferson. So uh, that's where we're thinking God. the black comes from. So wait, what are One you... One of those slave girls. What, what Jefferson was saying is, hey, we got to bang these slaves. What do you Pronto. think? Pronto. What do you, what, what do you say white. you are? Mike's off. I would say my parents are both white. 
Well, that doesn't mean anything. All my relatives I know of are white. You got to go how back. Many, how many black yeah. friends did your mother work with? Yeah, yeah, you better check. It's something about that hair. It's that's not just Povich curly. Yeah. That's not just curly white guy hair. Yeah, that's black hair, man. Yeah, that is black hair. You don't have sickle cell or anything like that, no. right? Okay, just checking. <laughs> What's it called? That'd be a dead giveaway. Maybe it's vitiligo. Vitiligo. Yeah. Nah. Is, that, is, that Mike, is that Michael Jackson? And his parents have it, yeah. Sickle cell and vitiligo. <laughs> We're going to just like... But he's whiter than white. <laughs> yeah, he's a white boy. We're going to just start leaving Popeye's uh, fried chicken and watermelon around the studio and see who Jesus. eats it. Yeah. You, know what, if he, you know what it is? <laughs> see if he eats it. You know, you, know, <laughs> you know what Sam looks like? He looks like a photo negative of a black guy. No. Oh yes, yeah. Okay, he looks like we see C. It. Thomas Howell from uh, <laughs> Soul Man. Howell. <laughs> he looks like any, oh, oh. He looks like any black man with with white makeup. <laughs> that's really good. Yo, man, do it for Pony Boy. <laughs> uh, by the way, here's his song. Yeah. Sam's not black. His ancestor's Thomas Jefferson. He's not black. He doesn't have big lips, just a real big thumb. Well, his skin's kind of weird. It's not black or white. If he's white, then he's dark. If he's black, he's light. Who the hell can figure? Who the hell can figure? If Sam's white or a mm -mm, <laughs> yeah, we tease him, you know, cause he's white with an afro, Sam's not black, he's not black, don't smoke crack, he ain't black. The, uh, we had to clean that up for this side of the Opie and Anthony show, but I think that version's funnier now. Yeah, yeah mm, I really Because you're so expecting it. And yeah. The way that came about was uh, I, lo I noticed one day that he had hair, and it reminded me kind of like a Gabe Kaplan type of a. Of yeah, a hair. yeah. It was just awful. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, if you grew that out, that's definitely like uh, the Brady kids in the final couple of seasons. Absolutely. Um, Gabe <laughs> there's, Kaplan. There's a sit-down speech coming from his parents one of these days <laughs> after this show, after it yeah. really starts. They, after you keep prodding them and prodding them, one day they're going to listen and they're going to have a sit-down. Sam, sit down and we have to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. We have to tell you something. <laughs> All right. We You're, do have a little info. And it starts with, we we love you very much. We right. used to live We used to live in Compton. Right. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we didn't lock the windows. We didn't lock the windows. <laughs> one night on Crenshaw. Kill both of us or sleep with your mama. <laughs> <laughs> we, there was a gang of them, so we can't point the finger at anyone. <laughs> Matter of fact, oh. the woman gang <laughs> raped your father. <laughs> it was the first woman raping with your daddy, and then they sent us you in the mail. <laughs> Sorry about that, Warriors. With, with the Lizzie's. With a, Sorry about with, that. With a West Side on his back. He tattooed. <laughs> he tattooed West Side on his back when he was a baby. Lift your back up, Negro. <laughs> Let me see your stomach. Is there a big uh, tattoo? Pale life. <laughs> no. All right, Sam. Okay. Thank you, Sam. Have to be a tat there. Get, there out, of, get out of here and never be in a country club, <laughs> no matter what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Better shave it all off like Romper Stomper to have a chance in this society, buddy. Let's say hi to Sam at Bushwood. Let's say never. Hi. Let's say hi to Big A again. All right, Big A. There he is. So you ready for the news, Big A? Uh, yes, I am. All right. You ready for the news there? Loaf of bread shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. They awful the way they what is wrong it? with you, eh? It's all crotched up. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing leather gloves on his feet. <laughs> Boxing gloves. Boxing. <laughs> hey, hand feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is that Holy you Jesus. Wanted... <laughs> you still look like boxing they gloves. They look like the fake feet you put on the bottom of stilts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it took him so long to say Nike that they said he must be orthopedic. <laughs> oh, my God. They do. Can I get some? Mm, mm, Those are mm. Cornelius's prop shoes from Planet of the Apes. <laughs> All they're missing is a toe. <laughs> a toe. <laughs> Don't wear those no more, Big A. I'll take oh. you shopping, buddy. Oh, my right. God. And your arches are about gone, aren't they? 
Why don't you get some more? Wow. <laughs> You're walking like on the sides of your feet. Yeah, let's buy him some shoes. Yeah, shoes for Big A, man. Uh, nice but, but, but smaller than they should be. <laughs> so yeah. Want them bound so like really, a little Asian girl. So it hurts. So he'll really stammer. <laughs> Bind oh, his yeah. feet. <laughs> oh. Ow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pain. I'm so sorry, Big A man. I hate. I really hate trash and Big A. That's why I love when Lewis is here. Hey, we're That's getting bad trash. We're getting there. pictures of Sam up on OpiumAnthony.com, and then you can <laughs> fool around with it and help us out with uh, the big question. A break? Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. They're telling us to All break. Right. Well, we oh, should then, oh, and then we boy. come back and do this. All right. No more BSing around. Well, we fool around when Patrice is here. He makes it so easy. I know. We can talk about shoes for ten minutes with Patrice on the other. Gotta be responsible shoes. though. All right, we will be responsible. We'll get some news in with Big A, and we'll do some betting with Big A uh, as the ONA virus spreads across America. Also, later this morning, I uh, I got a surprise. What? Well, what? Raises for everyone? What are you talking about? I don't know. Surprise. What surprise? <laughs> You're hearing things, Jimmy. Oh. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. On the XM side, uh, Patrice, I want to hear about uh, the, the, the Brazil trip. Uh, when we get to XM, Patrice, we're going to talk about his Brazil trip. Yeah, we went back to Brazil. we got to hear about that. And a big surprise. Uh, let's see. Coke Logic came up with some... What, Jimmy? What's... What are you talking about? I want a surprise. Coke Logic has a uh, Russ Meyer promo. Yes. That has something to do with the Opie and Anthony show. This could be the start of something, is all I'm saying. We like when the audience participates. Coke it makes our jobs a lot easier, because then we don't have to come up with this crap. He's very good at this stuff. He's imitating the Russ Meyer style. He doesn't have the Russ Meyer uh, voice or the voiceover guy that does the Russ Meyer films, mm -hmm. but uh, the concept is very, very good. Coke Logic came up with a promo <clears throat> using the Russ Meyer style for the Opie and Anthony show. Listen in. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony show. The venomous voices of the vastly vulgar airways. Introducing the Destroyer, operator of the OCD organization OPI, the professor, the know-it-all neurotic Nancy Anthony. Swing over to little Jimmy Dorton, the worthless, chinless, buxom master of laughs. Meet the irritating extra of excrement E-Rock, or the swishy audio shim Steve C. <laughs> and don't forget Sam, black and white, 50-50 where it counts, corrupting the cabinet of ear holes everywhere. It's the Opie and Anthony show. There you go. That's pretty good. It's the beginning of something. Paul Steve a shim. <laughs> a shim. A swishy shim. He sounds more like Richard Nixon. <laughs> yeah. And the Jews. <laughs> Nixon never got in trouble for that. Coke logic. Very good. All right. Big A with the news. Big A, you finally ready? Uh, yes, I am. All right. Here's the headlines with Big A. Take it away, Big A. No, just... He started, by the way. <clears throat> Go ahead, man. It's time. It's it's time for the news. Oh. Uh, good. Uh, good morning, <laughs> news stations. I'm Big A. Uh, um, um, Fidel Castro, who has who has been who has been. Oh, boy. Who has been... Oh, boy. Who has been... I think we found the word. Wow. That shuts him down. Who's... Huck. Oh, oh, wow. How great is it that he got stuck on the word stuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. Fidel Castro, who has been stuck in a... <laughs> in a, in a <laughs> the news writers are vicious Stubborn here. Stubborn Stubborn stalemate. With a nice... Eight <laughs> <laughs> for nearly fifty years. Eight out of sight on Tuesday, on Tuesday after under, uh, undergoing intestinal surgery and inst and inst 
Henley and trusting Master of Master Dumb to his brother Raul. Casual who has last addressed his <laughs> oh, boy. On his date last Wednesday, last Wednesday was, was said to have looked quickly <laughs> and if. Holy cow, you can all break. Oof. Stupendous. <laughs> it's so me. Wow. And Castro's going to kill all stool pigeons with a staple of... <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> stubborn stalemate. No, Dan Rather couldn't even say stubborn stalemate. <laughs> I know, the writers here are very cruel for, uh, to wow. somebody who can't say his ST words. Yeah, they play off the fact he can't do the ST thing, sure. All right, let's do the second story. We only have four of these. Okay. Oh, Jesus. He's got to inform the... He's got to inform the listeners out there. New York is pushed the, the, um, the state wide ins, in, in insistence for election. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we got a new one. Oh. All right, back up a little. So, All right. holy crap. Oh. All right. It's painful. You can do it. Okay. Quickly, though. <laughs> uh, uh, to a new crest. No, no, you didn't. No, 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 no. We lost you did the not thing. get past that word. You have to start again because we just screwed up. All right, I'll do this part. New Yorkers pushed a statewide insistence for... Um, like, uh, 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 oh <laughs> wow we never knew he couldn't say that word wait a minute though wait a second let's let's try to analyze this for a second though yeah. uh, uh, can you say don't look at that paper and say electricity Electricity. It's, uh, all right. That was electricity. It's the, it's the That's how they say it in your town, all right. <laughs> but not the, here. The tricity. Le electricity. Oh, the tricity. <laughs> he just like electricity. Can you say stubborn? Yeah, he can. Um, no, he can't. Um, stubborn. Without, without moving your fingers. Stubborn. Stubborn. All right, let's go. Electricity. <laughs> we got. Four lousy stories. No, forging ahead. No trying to help. Whoa, no, no trying to help this poor guy. He's not here for help. He's not here. He's just here. You think he's here for help? This is help. startling that even, you won't. Even Big A knows he's not here for help. The last he's thing get, we do on this show is help people. He's going to get new shoes out of this. Don't you think it's startling? <laughs> All right, let's go. He knows he's not getting help. Oh, poor Big A. And how nice is it to listen to him without in the background? I'm Louis Twitchell Santani. I'm missing Twitchell. Right I'm mi I'm missing him. All right, let's go there. Uh, electricity to a new crest uh, Wednesday. These uh, these uh, these uh, Destroyed oh. the records established a day earlier <laughs> as utilities asked customers to stop using lights and other electric stuff to ease the strain and try to stay away from service. Up inches as the temperatures. He's cheating. He's cheating. As the temperatures. As the temperatures. Stall in record heat. Well, he stalled with the word stall. Yeah. <laughs> he goes like. St yeah. And then goes. Up inches. All right. Two to go. The tricity. The news with Big A. Two to go. Mel, uh, Mel Gibson's 
on the Jewish community last week when the food are humbled out of his car and hammered anti-Semitic comments while being stopped for a DUI. Dude, star stumbled. Dude, star stumbled. Gibson blew a point one two indicating he was not own sober. In a statement, he he said he had suffered a relapse in his battle with alcoholism, stating that his outburst did not illustrate his honest end point. Holy crap. Let One us more. breathe for a second. It's exhausting. I, I find myself stop. I, I just stop breathing. Yeah, you don't I breathe. I hold my breath, hold when, your breath. When, yep. he goes, when he goes through that. All right, finally, the uh, the fourth uh, and final story there, yes. <laughs> Boxing. Boxing club shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Boxing club. And muffin feet. <laughs> and what? Muffin, oh, muffin feet. Oh, oh, muffin feet. Hey, biscuit toes. Have you up in stammer? <laughs> Sleeping <Bill>? shoes. <laughs> Bill more on. Had he. Make something out of a train set. Yes. The so coal carrier. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, astronaut shoes. I didn't mean to One small. <laughs> you gotta leave. <laughs> One small. <laughs> he never steps out. They run out of time. Yeah. We're already on the way home before he gets it out. <laughs> step, step, splash down. <laughs> I'll leave old bubblegum feet alone. <laughs> hey, uh, let's say hi to Moby in Connecticut. Moby! What's going on? Stop this, please. Why? He's got one to go. Oh, my God. One, one story to go, Moby. Hang in there. Oh, my goodness. All right. A lot of people aren't breathing on the highway right now. All right, Big Egg. Uh, uh, go ahead. You start the fourth story go ahead, again. Balloon shoes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 eggplant feet. <laughs> oh, 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 God damn. <laughs> All right, we'll just tease you. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just remember, new shoes today. Yeah. New yeah. shoes for you. Go ahead, match your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Pillow top. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Someone's saying they look like Smurf shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla Gorilla. Right on, bro. Go ahead, marshmallow feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready for the fourth. Going to do a little soft shoe. <laughs> we're not going to be able to bet today. Well, we'll bet on the other side of the show because yeah. uh, we're running out of show here. Let's get the right, fourth story guy. in. We have a minute thirty to get the fourth story in. Let's. It's uh, only a paragraph. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, mango feet. <laughs> oh. 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 He has begun, yeah. in case you're wondering. <laughs> Old deep sea diver shoes. <laughs> Bill Moore on headiness in the Middle East as his bowler <laughs> fired two rockets in Israel early <laughs> Thursday morning. Hey, beanbag shoes, hurry up. He's standing on two escalades. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got a minute left in the show. Fighting in his fourth mm -hmm. week and diplomatic efforts hold. Oh. The regents heading for a bitter and, oh. and, and oh. 
cane before. <laughs> really <Who> swimmy <laughs> feet. <laughs> up and say, some say this crisis has set this. <laughs> Hurry up, Raph Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Cage <laughs> for World War Three. <laughs> A2 <laughs> For more uttering hammers as you start your day. Thank you, everyone. And that's how we end the Opie and Anthony show. Tomorrow we're live from WBCN up there in Boston. Wow. We're looking for some familiar faces and some new faces to show up and uh, join us, okay? Uh, we're going to continue on XM. If you're not going to join us, that's fine. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for checking us out. Thank you, Patrice O'Neill. One of our regular walkers uh, Marty Lang. broke his arm. Uh, uh, what happened to you? I fell off a mezzanine on 57 and 5th. How did you fall off a mezzanine? Not paying attention. Could someone fix uh, Patrice's bike, please? Why would it work, Opie? Right? <laughs> Why does he have the really... Oh, that's the old mics? Oh. Uh, better so, work. So what, you were working and you fell? Yeah. What were you doing? Uh, you. Setting some scaffolding up on the mezzanine. Ah, sure. man's job, right? Yeah. Getting and Sid knockers ready. You should know. Ah, that. those bastards. <laughs> and uh, and you, you just fell off? How far did you fall? About 14 feet. Wow. I on my hand. Did oh, you look hit? at his arm. Yeah, you got like hamburger yeah. arm. Yeah. Leg is what? the same. Did you hit anything on the way down? Uh, a whole beam the whole way down, trying to hold on. All right, so what were you thinking? Like did, did it seem like it took a long time to like hit, finally hit bottom? Yeah, it felt surreal, man. Like I was watching myself do it. And, oh, shit, that guy's fucked, you know? And then what What were you thinking? You don't thinking? believe he was fucking actually driving through Harlem yelling out nigga in a drunk <laughs> stupor. Do you see this guy? Do you see this painter slash construction <laughs> worker? You believe a mezzanine? Do you believe that fucking shit? Oh, I don't yeah. believe that. I think he fell. He fights me, eight black people by himself a day. <laughs> he is a big guy. He's, yeah. a, he's an animal. I fell off a fucking mezzanine. You couldn't think of something better than that, and you falling for that shit? I'm here every day. You saw me broken up? That's why I said one of our regulars is hurt. He had a fight day. yesterday. <laughs> it was a fucking fight. Well, it could yeah, be a fractured ulna. I've been alive 36 years. I've never heard of anybody falling off Ruffy. a fucking mezzanine. <laughs> I got it. Watch <laughs> Caddyshack enough times. Yeah. Well, uh, what? Ulna radius, both, would you, would you break? Radius. Ah. Uh, uh, tomorrow I'm going to put a plate in a couple of screws. In your fucking head, you mook. <laughs> and the greatest thing? And he's thing? going to do it himself. Greatest thing? Huh? They come out of nowhere. We got like many. When Reagan got shot. Yeah, they got a newsy. Don't worry about it. Hey, uh, so you don't have to work anytime soon, obviously. That, that, that's that got to be kind of cool. No, no, I'm going right back to work Monday. Get the fuck out Why? of here. What are you, crazy? You don't work, you don't get paid. Uh, you no comp I make time or for you guys every day right here. See that? I know. Beast, the guy is a trooper. How are you not on workers' take comp? Take care of your landlord, though. If you still need me to take, I take care of Ivan, I'll take care of him. Uh, with the, I give, guarantee give him some cash. Kevin James has the best left hook you've ever seen. He's Kevin. fucking an animal, this guy, man. I'm not fucking with him. He's, yeah. That's bodyguard material He's right still there. Get, imagine getting your ass kicked by a guy with a broken arm. It, I know How he can be. How that is. WWF restaurant when you used to be there? Yeah, yeah. I had long hair. I used to get fucking crazy in there. Used to. I had a fucking good time in there. Now, this guy, I'm glad he's on our side. Oh, my God. Yeah. His, God he's on his our side. happiness is threatening. Yeah. yeah. I love your fucking remember show, motherfucker. fucking time? <laughs> don't tell me you don't fucking remember. He, he, I fucking he, love he, you, man. He, he's got the... Uh, he, I don't he's one of these guys that would kick your ass and smile the whole, the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Let me no explain problem. something to what he did, because I'm, I'm genius at peripheral catching everything. He set up his camera before he asked me for the picture. No one does that. People go, hey, can I take a picture? Didn't set it ah. up. He went, hey, you do this and <laughs> you press this button, you fucking asshole. <clears throat> yeah. Can I take a picture with you? Nah. nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to walk. <laughs> I... All right, bro. Uh, good luck to you, man. Hey, man take it. You're all right. Look cool, man. Take it easy. I Jesus, got a surprise. Why, hello, you used to be hot. What's the surprise? Is... Hi. Talking about Jimmy. I want a surprise. You're hearing your voices in your head again. Surprise. Hi. Oh, look at this Miserable one. bitch. There it is. A little iced coffee on this hot day, right? <laughs> you go fuck yourself. Uh, it's good. <laughs> he heard you, too. Oh. Uh, oh, hey, look at that. Right wow. Me. That was the guy from uh, from the Great Adventure commercials. He's going to get some coffee. Da, 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 da. Uh, hi, puppy. 
surprise on the way. How you doing? Hey, surprise on the way. What's That's the surprise? Good. Hi. I Hi. I love a surprise. Hi. I want to look at the tits on this one on the orange. Fat little tits. They're coming right this way. I'd like to give them a good pinching. Ooh. Is that an iced coffee, ma'am, or a hot coffee? Let me talk to She doesn't want to talk to me. How could you drink hot coffee on such a hot day? Oh, New York City. No, nothing. I get no response. Not hey, Paulie Walnuts, how you doing? Uh, that's exactly who the fuck that was. <laughs> <laughs> it was Paulie Walnuts. Where the hell is Patrice? So many visual gags on this show. you are walking too fast. Look at Patrice. I'm strolling, rollerblader. You're like 100 feet behind us. I'm, I might fall back to 200 feet. I don't blame you. There you go. This is the last day of the heat wave in New York hey, City. How you doing? Temperature is going to drop tonight. Finally. That's good. Did you see Leslie Nielsen on his cell phone? <laughs> Another wonderful celebrity star-studded walk today. All right. Miss, you dropped something. Oh, I got her. She turned around. Oh, uh, she's not I'm really bad. I'm really bad at it, but I did get her. There we go. By the way, the uh, Big A shoe thing is going to have to wait. None of the shoe stores are open. <laughs> Do they sell then. shoes at uh, Dwayne Reed? Dwayne Reed shoes. <laughs> they got to be better than... Because that's what he bought. He bought them from CVS before I think Dwayne Reed is an upgrade. We'll just give him two bags of cotton balls and have him stick his feet in them. They're like... I think, so I think Big A made his own shoes. <laughs> Those are awful shoes. They're like foam doll shoes. I think he's the only motherfucker that jogs and his ankles are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they, they look like? Uh, those slippers that are supposed to look like shoes. Yeah. <laughs> but they're big and puffy and cozy. Oh, God. What happened to your boy over there? Is he all right? Uh-oh, we don't know. Frederick Douglass? We ain't seen him in a while. Oh, shit. A couple oh, of days. A good leg amputation. Oh, he'll come back. Fuck he, me, man. He wasn't feeling too good the last time we talked to him, too. So. Well, fuck, he wasn't oh, feeling wow. too good ever. He'll be sitting there. Those two stamp pipes he sits on will look like his legs. Oh, man. Just be a torso, like Jean Jean the dancing machine. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Look, now we enter the part of town. It's like Grand Theft Auto. You, you cross a street and the whole complexion of the town changes. Now it's very, um, a lot of tourists on this street. Ten feet away from me, God damn uh, it. There you doing, sir. Right. Stay away from me. my left leg, man. He's a big star. Stay big away from fan. Me. Yes. Is, um, You're a big J star, Patrice. Does, yes, thank you. Does Jason right. know? Was that sarcasm? No. Does Jason know how awful his shirt is? Patrice. I give you love, Patrice. Does your manager know how awful that shirt is? There's the opening up the uh, back doors. Uh, that's great. Air conditioning on this bus, ma'am? Yes, air conditioning. You enjoying the air conditioning on the New York City bus? Penny Crone. That's Penny right. Crone. Air Penny uh, Crone right the there. Yeah, Jesus Christ. A very famous reporter. Penny no one, Crone on her cell phone. No one wants to uh, talk. Everyone's in such a rush. I guess they have real jobs. Iced coffee. Keeping cool on this uh, hot tub. Well, thank you. Thank you. No. She, she would have talked. Oof, that's got to be a lot to carry around on this hot day. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Hi. I hope she she got earbuds in. I hope she wasn't listening to us. <laughs> she laughed when I said that. Yeah, Oops. I know. I forget we actually broadcast to people. I got a surprise. I got a surprise. What's a Very spry step, sir, for such a hot day. Look at this thankless job. What is this guy wheeling in? Bags of steel bullion. What? What are those? Potatoes? Try plutonium for the <laughs> fucking deli owners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this complete ass. He looks like yeah. Danny from our show. Yeah, with oh, Sam hair on shit. his shirt. It is. It's <laughs> Sam. Hare. What's going on, Danny? Wearing his Bob Ross shirt. Looking for a shoe store. Uh, All right, we're trying to find a shoe store because Big A's got to get uh, Danny new shoes. Today. He's trying to play it off. Let's see what's going on with Danny? Today. Big Ho. Danny, what's wrong, sweetie? Why you said? Because all the shoe stores are, don't, aren't open yet. Good enough. Aww. Well, we'll get his uh, shoes at 10 o'clock. Big A, come on up, upstairs, yeah. all right? Come on, Cinderella. Cinderblockella. Cinderblock. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.
Bye, everybody. We'll Bye. Uh, see you. Uh, with your bad, uh, we're going to be in Boston, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> Surprise. Let's see. All right, there's O. Here's Patrice. Hello. Hey, Jimmy's still in the bathroom. Club soda Kenny. Hope Whole you all gang. brought your... Hope you all brought your A game today. Gonna need it. <clears throat> Welcome to the second half of the Opie and Anthony show. The only virus spreading across America. We couldn't be happier about it. This yeah. is the uh, part uh, for the uh, new listeners uh, that were listening to us on uh, FM radio. This is the part where we can say uh, dirty words. Like shit, fuck. Right, a couple of examples, Talk. good ones there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and talk about adult-oriented subject matter in graphic detail, like, like fucked her in the ass. Fist thing? With a cock. What? Well, that's you can't fist with a cock. You should fuck in the ass with a cock. Oh, 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 Trying oh, to uh, show oh, people oh. an example. Because I've, uh, on MySpace, I've noticed a lot of people writing now, a lot of people signing up for XM because they heard us on FM. Really? Yep. A lot of people. That might so they heard because it, because it's it. They get pissed off that they hear you know they hear part of the show on FM radio and then they go well now what happens? Right. Now what happens? I know they're still going, but I'm not privy to this. So they. That's all good, but you got to support the uh, commercial stations we're on. Well, that yeah, and that'll that that'll happen. There's enough cheapo people out there, Opie. Matt. Enough cheapo people. Where uh, we'll do very well. Hey, uh, do you mind if Patrice sits over there today? There was a big whole thing where Than told him to sit there. Jesus H. Christ. You tell Patrice where to sit? You don't tell Patrice where to sit. I, I don't what? tell Patrice anything. But you don't you? come but into we, uh, a place like this studio and tell Patrice where to sit like and, that. And you don't mind if Patrice sits over there today, I right? Have no problem. Uh, I would love Patrice to sit right next to me because he usually does. We have a little side banter sometimes. Patrice, can you sit over there today? I never tell you what to do. You know that. But it'll, it'll You're make. Telling me what to do now. With it'll a, make sense, though. So. With a smirk and munching. Well, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> is this tricks? Or something? No, this is somehow going to come to hurt me. <laughs> oh, <it's> to <laughs> hurt me. What? Then you come in. Then you tell me. Why did I come man? down to then you something say that, that hurts you? Fucked up. Yes. Oh, that might, um, well, that might. Now, that mic what what happens is it picks up. Is it that mic? It, it was both, and because it was that Mars, fucking mic. It was Patrice's mic. Mars tinkered, like made Did this one better. Tinkered. Yes. Ew. He's an inventor yeah, in 1860. Ew. There was a little metal hammer involved. <laughs> <Ew>. um, <laughs> and so this one might sound better than that one. That's Wait. Why. So we what? That mic is out of play. Uh, it just won't sound quite as good. Ah, all right. Just yeah. give me an extra mic. That's all. I just need an extra mic today. I want that. That one placed down in the seat because I like an eye line of Jimmy. I just need an extra mic. You. That's good. Ooh, no for, thanks. For no reason, by the way. And for me, I'd please. like a carrot juice with apple, and I'd like um, um, a banana. That ain't photoshopped. And I'd yeah, like um. I bet you like uh, would like a big surprise too, Jimmy. Um, I don't know. I don't get many surprises. Where's my I, Where's my surprise? I don't say it's like a surprise. You know. Where's my surprise? Oh GH, anything? God. You sound like a friggin' horse eating an apple. Wait, what, what happened? GH You're eating anything? blueberries. I'm trying to eat my blueberries. Horrid. I want a banana, Kenny. I, I wrote it down. That you do. Patrice, do you want some food? All right. I'll Beverage? give you a banana. Cup of joe? A little something? Yeah. Both mics are fine. Uh, little something? And a hug? Yeah. Muffin. You don't mind a complete stranger sitting at that mic, then? Coffee, cake, muffin. Rather uh, have Patrice <laughs> sitting at that mic. To tell you well, the truth. What's the deal? You want, you want me to sit over there? Chocolate milk. I would love for Patrice to sit over there. No, because uh, it's more comfy that milk? way. <laughs> I just find it more comfy. Right. Right. Way to play that one off. And me and Patrice have oh. like a little thing uh, <laughs> that goes on, like during commercial breaks. Me and Patrice talk, or when we're talking about what I want to talk about with it's, this whole relationship strange, hotel thing. Yeah, it's like we're gonna get I get more of a. a yeah. Get more of a rapport with Patrice. Before like we continue, this. can I just say one thing? You really should listen to the show all the time. All the time. Because you, you, you just never know. Because you just never know. What? Exactly. You never know what? Exactly. What's going to happen? I know what the surprise is. What? We're firing Steve on air. 
That would be a good surprise. Not a good surprise. Can, you, get, surprise. can you do a mic check? I want to make sure this uh, spare mic is working, Jimmy, please. If you will. We're back. Back in the New York groove. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't how you check your mic. Do it right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wait, let me adjust time. a little. Go ahead again. Uh, perfect. Thank you. All right. Get back to your mic because we might need that one. As it just sits there. Why is that mic? There's no one there. Yeah. So Patrice went to Rio with his girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. I had a good time. Back in the day, you guys would try to talk me into going on those Rio trips, and I just, uh, I just never. You're did too it. much. That's like. That's like the Yankees coming up to you and saying, "Hey, you know, we're playing Boston. Come on out onto the field and 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 help us out." Not really. Dude. Going to Brazil with you guys to bang who was would be not just to bang going boys, with the man. pros. Stop stigmatizing it as just bang I'm not. Whores. I'm talking the whole scene. Talking to him. I'm talking to anybody who says it's mm -hmm. a bang whore thing. Stop That's right. It. I'm talking the Stop. whole scene what, is they, just like this thing alone. where you guys you guys are blurting out words earlier right. that I didn't know what the fuck right. you were talking about. Termis. Yeah. Termis. Oh, termis at, is the, a, is at a, the termis, the I'd be termis? like, we know, it as a, we know it as a uh, like a men's lounge. It's a gentleman's establishment. All right, see? Rookie. It's I have no clue. gentleman's establishment. I'd walk in. I would need you guys. I would be a scared little boy going, help me. I wouldn't know what to do. Go and we'd take you to help. I'd be, yeah, you'd drop me off at some awful street where some street urchins would, we would beat me listen, silly. We would be in your corner. You mm -hmm. would have a good time. You need yeah. it. You would need it. You need a fucking good time like that. You too, man. You yep. need that good time. And the What's whores have you? to be part of it? They don't have to. You don't have to. Are you going down whores. there for a scenic bike ride? Yes, if you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's fucking Brazil. Yep. Yeah, I know. It's that... a, it's a, it's a goddamn, uh, uh, it's a what do you call it? A tropical paradise. All I Same hear shithole. Oh, right. All I hear about First Brazil all, are the kids. Stop on Brazil, man, because you got your. Oh, man, your, he really stuff. likes Brazil. No, no. All I, I hear about Brazil are the kids he's surfing, surfing on the top of the trains and getting killed. I they do that in the Bronx. Well, they, that's what I'm saying. They do that everywhere. Do they? And age uh, maids. Never thought of it. I believe. AIDS. Schmaid. Here's how I look at AIDS. That's a great it way to look at it. It just can't happen to me. And I'll tell a girl that. <laughs> That's a very unsafe way to look at Do things. Do I look like I got AIDS? <laughs> right, Magic. <laughs> People in Wyoming got AIDS, man. It's, 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 uh, you're, you're, it's okay. an AIDSy world. You're right. <laughs> you're right there. The AIDS but, will come out. But when you get these hookers, <laughs> you get these... Uh, they're, they're entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Let's rephrase that. That yes. are down there. Yes. Um, I see where you're going, man. You, you, you just, just fucking spit it out, man. Spit it out with, with passion. It okay. just seems dangerous. It seems dangerous, motherfucker. Listen, when anything is dangerous, it's dangerous if fucking Club Sony Kitty's not walking with you from CBS. You and see that motherfucker with the broken arm and the, and, the, and, the, and the other guys that's just hovering around but at on least your I, hip? At least if he's going to rob me, I understand what he's saying. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I'm frightened to go to another country. I'm like a xenophobe. Let me tell you something, nigga. You, you speak knife in any language. <laughs> <laughs> no one pulls out a knife, and I have to wonder what he's thinking hey, or wanting. Hey, man, look. That means whatever I got that's yeah. worth a fuck, you take yeah. it. Yeah, there you go. There you and go. And it's not like that, man. It's what you All right, just, so, come on. So the back history, you guys used to go down there. There used to be a whole uh, group of you. Yes. Yeah, everybody a fell off. A single man. Everybody fell off. And everyone fell off. The except fell off. Except yeah. Patrice. You might remember when we first started on XM, Patrice came in here all proud with his briefcase filled with glass uh, glass yeah. dildos. dildos. And we actually looked at you and said, you have a problem. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you it, took it to heart? D it, yeah. I st well, you know what it is? It's just that you 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 escalate sexually with a person, mm. and that that was a phase. That was uh, a phase of escalation. And also, that, that was a phase also because I had a lot of girls at the time. I had yeah. a lot of different, like you know, I had a lot of different women. So it's like here in the states. In the states, right? And so I, you would. You I could would... not keep up with the Joneses, mm -hmm. right? As they say, I had to. With the um, Johnsons. It's hard to disconnect and humiliate a bunch at once, and that's <laughs> right. a duffel bag. That's that another thing I have a problem with you. That, that's saying humiliating. This, I'm a giver, man, and I try to give. You're like an assassin I, walking around. Yeah, with I try to give as much as I'm shit. very connected with uh, James sex. Bond of sex. You know, as you as you get older, because you I'm 36, mm -hmm. I know you're a little bit older. Oh, I gotta be. You're 20 you, years look, older. Your than dick that. cannot work the same way it worked at 22. It's, mm. It it fills up. Like I said, my shit fills up 
but mm-hmm. it's it has soft spots in it, and, it, <laughs> and I and soft I cannot spot. use a condom anymore. So that's it's like a lot of things forcing me to be faithful. <laughs> when you were when you were back, do you lose sensitivity? And motherfucker, I, I lose sensitivity. I have to punch my dick <laughs> in the face. <laughs> I have to start a fight with my dick for it to get on. What you say, motherfucker? You got soft spots. Soft spots. I got clotted arteries like, in my dick. He's got like a dick like with a, a baby head on it. It's just a, it's like a little a, soft it's spot. Like a, you gotta be. It's like a bruised banana. It, it, it is. It has places in it that's like, wow, it's soft. Oh, man. And it's like, you know, it, I, it, look, I'm, 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 I'm becoming faithful just out of necessity, but it's still, I still have to keep my, my focus on how uh-huh. to keep my girl how she is. It's, the eye it's, on it's, the prize. It's, it's rules. It's rules and regulations. I, I now, now this is what kind of got me earlier when we were talking over there <laughs> was the whole hotel room thing. Yeah. Now, now you're you're in a relationship. Yes. That I completely cannot understand as being a relationship I, I we are worlds apart as far as relationships go i don't think you're weird on this i think a lot of people think like you i'm different a lot of people's how's relationships your, how, are why different. are you happy with your woman like what makes you happy happy with, with, with your, with your with girl with my girl like what the thing that makes your relationship great that makes it great we're we're a lot alike we're a lot alike like a lot of the same things. Mm-hmm. It, men. Uh, it, it's not it, men. <laughs> That's it. Bag. A nice cock. <laughs> I Bag. like if, if if we're we're both uh, like lazy, so each one of us aren't yelling at the other one to pick shit up. Mm-hmm. Like this clothes on the floor, my side of the bed. I'll give you an example. I get I get ready for bed. The shit comes off, goes on the fucking floor. When I come home, it's still on the floor. Uh, eventually, I'll pick up a pile and throw it in the laundry. Mm-hmm. But it's not like she's going, why the fuck are there clothes on the floor? And I've been through that shit before. Mm-hmm. Pick up your fucking clothes. Why? Who's coming over? The Pope? What the fuck is it? I'll put it away later. Uh, Sunday can be spent all day laying in fucking bed. Basically what you got, without, what without, you found, what mm-hmm. you've got, you've, you've hit the lottery, as yes. they say. You, 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 usually men don't hit the lottery. Usually men have to create their own happiness. Oh, did I mention she's 20 years younger than me? But, but, but that's another plus. It's, 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 it's very, but see, uh, that's, I don't know. I'm teasing. Is she, is no, she I'm not. Years? Yes, she is. But is she I'm not. Years that's good. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know she was. They met when Aunt was 30. <laughs> <laughs> it was a close one. <laughs> used to carry around in a backpack er- in early years. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say, well, I had to know where a couple of schools were. You hit the lottery. I didn't hit the lottery. I had to. I had to create <clears throat> happiness. Your woman is yeah. awesome. She's though, sexy, man. I hit she's the lottery. Sexy. Term, she's got a, a nice uh, personality. But, but here's she the thing: loves showing her her tits she in front does, of five to six hundred O and A listeners. She does not. She doesn't. What show is that? Have yeah. that personality. Show? She it was made to be. She's become my girl, as, as they say. Like your girl, yeah. even though you're with her and you're with you're with your you still with your woman. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it's like she's become my girl. She knows certain things will make me happy. She happy with that, or you don't know because or care. my happiness it, it trickles down to everybody, man. If I'm happy, she's happy. What the fuck? What the fuck does she have to have? To, what does she need to be happy for? Just to, what, as long as you're happy, as, she's happy. She fucking got it, man. Wow. I give anything she yeah. wants, man. I take okay. her first class to Brazil, motherfucker. I have a question uh, for nice. Patrice because you, you and I are very similar. Now I'm. Let's just the trust. There's a reason I'm asking this. Let's just say it may relate to my own life at times. Uh huh. You're dating a girl, and I know your girl who is. She has it. Very hot. She's a good looking woman. Oh yeah. Really good looking. I woman. lucked up in terms what, of her good looking. She, she's, she's, she's a beautiful girl. She's yeah. hotter. Than you deserve, and I'm not knocking you because I, look, I out, look, any hot of, girl I date is hotter than I deserve. She's out of my league logistically. She's out of my Physically. league. She, she, she just if you see her, but but that was more when you're a young man. As a, as a, I'm fucking pushing forty, it, no woman's out of my league now because I know it's it's too late to give a fuck because I'm my my dick is is, is um slowly getting ready to retire and <laughs> and the thing it's is winding down. it's winding down they play the for six down. innings just well, so it gets credit for the game <laughs> I just, I wanted to. no no I have a question for you that's why I'm asking that Go ahead, I, I, my question is this because like I'm too self conscious to take off my shirt around a girl like because of my stupid little tits and my mushiness right. so it fucks up the sex a little bit because I'm intimidated Aww. by her being good looking so I don't even believe that. Oh no, it's true. I mean, if it's if, if, if it's with a fucking girl I don't care about, but if it's a girl I really like, mm-hmm. I'm embarrassed she's gonna like be with me when I'm completely naked and just go ugh. Like I can't even ask her to play with my nipples. My girl in, oh, in Brazil, boy. she talked about 
I have the worst ass in history. People, <laughs> men talk about how awful my ass is. Nick DePaula called my ass. Two things that I never forgot to bother my ass that, that I might get an ass transplant. It, Nick said my ass looked like a woman cop. And, <laughs> a woman cop. and Keith said, you need a stunt ass. <laughs> you need some to hire a person oh. to come in and be your ass. My girl for an hour and some change. This is why the trip was great. I found out she's actually hilarious. Yeah. Because it was just like, it was, it's so, it, you so relaxed. There's nothing to think about. Mm -hmm. She talked about my ass for an hour and she, it was the worst trash and I've ever got by my She wow. just looked at it and go, you know, your ass cheeks are only two inches wide and two inches deep. <laughs> and it was so oh, fucking painful shit. as she squeezed my ass and looked at the, the inches and wow. said, wow, your ass is only two inches. And she, tra and, and it was like, it was the greatest thing in the world because the reason to go to your thing, Norton, is because they're not us. That's what you gotta you gotta understand. They're not us. They don't think like us. They don't. They love us for other reasons other than physicality. A woman version of me. I, if I was a man version of my girl. Out. And a woman version of me was trying to be with me. I'd be like, look, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Women cannot personality their way into shit. They can't <laughs> fucking tickle their way in. They can't, they can't jump in, their way in. They can't intelligent, <laughs> intelligentize their way in. And it's like, look at you, you fat bitch with a two-inch ass. Get out of my face. But my girl loves me because it's like, it, it, I'm cool to her. There are the other things, the things yeah. that make your you girl, happy. You're cool to make your girl. Her happy. You're a winner. You're fucking. I try. You, you know what I'm saying? You got. You just got how you are, and she's how she is, man. Mm -hmm. But it, you still gotta be wary because right. of the animal they are. You know, just because she's lazy don't mean it's gonna stay. You gotta keep that. You gotta keep the shit. See, uh, it, what, what I was getting at is, it's the whole thing with the hotel room. Go, That's oh what right, yeah, yeah, right, right. Now Patrice yeah, mentions, just back. casually mentions that when he's down in Brazil, he got two hotel rooms. Right. And we were, you know, thought How that was the hell a little odd. Pull that off. I thought told her the odd. fucking honest to God truth. The honest to God truth was, yeah. I don't want to look at you for two weeks. I was there for two weeks with mm -hmm. her. Why would it's I want to be? Because, and, but what you said was, I don't want to see shoes laying around yeah. and shit and this and that. But her isn't fucking, that part of fucking shampoo and all that? Get the fuck out of here, man! I, I like my hotel room a certain way. Like I, I'm... like you're single. You like your hotel room like you don't have a girlfriend. Look, doesn't that send a signal to her? Like they shouldn't smell. He doesn't want to no. smell her logs, and she doesn't want to smell his logs. Yeah, I understand like, that. It's like we had. Well, it, she was very happy because she got. She likes to walk around and just and just look up in the sky like a retard sometimes. Like just, <laughs> you know, how girls are. They just and 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 just, like she just when she practices singing and she just goes. Like this, she's reading this book about singing. And she wants to learn. Learn. And she wants to do a play or something. You don't find that cute. I find it annoying because I hear it. <laughs> and she's going, what a jerk. And then she goes, oh my la, God. La, 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 la. <laughs> and knowing that I'm an asshole, how can she concentrate with me going, what the fuck are you doing? Going, why don't you get the fuck out of here? She would never be happy because I'm, I'm an annoying guy. Don't you think she'd be happier if you did enjoy some of the little things like looking up at the sky like a retard are you thick. fucking super in love no, I'm just somebody need to shoot you in the face with a don't give a <laughs> fuck gun nigga <laughs> you are some in love niggas man look Look, I'm not basing what I'm saying completely on my own feelings in a relationship I know I'm taking it to the extreme here Go ahead. but what I'm saying is you are taking it to the other extreme and but that's you really you wait you don't think getting a separate hotel room I think that's crazy when you have a girlfriend you and your girl getting separate hotel. Me, me and Opie going on a road trip, separate hotel rooms. Holy shit! You I was and like, your what are you chick. At? You and your chick. It's like you. A more day. You, you, a more day in the big she, bed. She's not going to appreciate the fact that you. There's time you want to spend away from her on a vacation. I like understand. That. Yes. I, 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 I agree with room. Aunt Moore, but I wish I could pull off what Patrice does. The time like, spent, I know what you're saying is more yeah. realistic for most of us, but I wish I could pull off what Patrice does. Time spent away is like she wants to go to the spa, something like that. Yes. And you want to go to the beach or something like yes. that. That's fine. That's time away. That. But in the hotel room, that's like, bitch. When I need you, I'll fucking ring the bell. Well, well, Mr. Kumia. 
Yeah. It, let's be honest here. Uh-huh. That is what you do. Look, there's a there's a saying. Me and my man was it, it's like because he's having he was having trouble with his with his wife, you know, mm-hmm. and they was having se- separation problems <laughs> and shit like that. And he just goes, man, I don't understand, man. I just I, I'm happy being separated, but I'm not. You know what it is? Men, I want men want to be by themselves, but they don't want to be alone. Mm-hmm. I I, I want to be by myself. Most of the time, but I never want to be alone. Like my new house, I want her and a daughter to stay over. But uh-huh. I don't want to look at them. I just want them you there. You want them to know that you want to know they're there. Yeah, I just want them there. I don't want to fucking talk to them. He has. That is a weird fucking thing. It's called an emperor syndrome. <laughs> when, when you, you piece of shit. When, yeah. when Whatever, he, man. This is what Patrice wants. And they come in, which is pretty yeah, holy. But what the fuck is that yeah. bad? Yes. It is Let bad. Let me tell you something. This is this because is you're sh- cultivating a woman. It's not bad in his you're, in his eyes though. But he's, you're he's cultivating a woman the guy's pulling that off. is not being honest to herself. She you you because you're happy. You then assume everyone's happy around you. We you which don't think is that probably think not that we, true. You don't think that we sit and talk all fucking day. Let me tell you what my girl. When is. my she's girl, never around you. You're always throwing her the fuck that, out. That's not it, look it. I she's my girlfriend. And we've talked about this, man. I, I, we know history. You know your woman's history and things like that. Yeah. You, she comes in with the fucking issues, with the issues of of before. No guidance and sick. If you if you if somebody's sick in your life, man, you got to give them fucking medicine. You don't just let them walk around sick. Like, okay, for instance, your medicine is like leeches. But though, for and instance, fucking... for instance, I have an ex girlfriend's boots in my closet. They're just in my closet. Why? For, because in, I I never had. I she's not my enemy. We just don't go together. And she had boots over my house. And she's called me and said, "Can you send me my boots?" And I I'll, I'll forget or something. If she ever, if I ever think about it to send it to her, or she comes in the state. I'll give her her boots so it's not like I threw her fucking boots away and my girl's going off about these boots why 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 why, why, why? okay so it, it, I'm sitting there going I, I'm, I'm getting defensive and then I go bitch you got a kid you have a a daughter holy shit you're I said you're I gotta explaining. look at somebody's ball I know what he means yep. in my face yep. someone else is fucking you in my face and I talk to her give her love give her food and you talking about some fucking boots, nigga? You got a tattoo with a nigga's name on it. Are you fucking joking me? Don't give me stress. Because I don't give her stress about shit. But she's abusive. That's what women do. As soon as, listen, wow. they're abusive. She's an abusive girl. It, and she tests me. Let me tell you what it's like. It's like it's like running a karate school. You understand? <laughs> it's like running a karate school and... Okay, and you got a few students, and one student, which is her, this is why I don't fuck around with other girls no more, because my mm-hmm. girl has a black belt in me. <laughs> when I first met her, the bitch was a white belt, and then she <laughs> says, you know what, every, every time she wants to raise her belt, I don't know it. She just gets in a stance and kicks at my head because she goes, motherfucker, you ain't shit no more. I learned everything I can learn from you. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm better than you. So you got to do something and show her that you still know more shit than she's challenging. That's what they do each level. So right now, I got no room for other students. Right. She is for, for her to keep thinking that I am the best person in the situation, I have to focus on her because she's good now. She wasn't good before, but she's good now, and she tests me. And that's what I, they do. You know they something? test me. You, okay, you're a man's dream. You're like what guys want, maybe, yeah, like want it to be like. You, you're super man. You're super it's not guy. True, man. You, you have gotten made it an art to manipulate a woman and mold her into what you want but that's without what her she thinking wants. W- without her thinking it's you ever see 1984 yes or read the book or Big bro, i yes. say see because i don't read <laughs> but but i hate people you know, read movies they, they made the album by van halen they, <laughs> i read they Jaws. couldn't kill the guy <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't the fucking different. kill the guy until he absolutely really accepted what they were pushing on him like, like he could fake it and be kind of like, you know, yeah, I'm with you. I understand all this. Everything's cool. This guy's great. But until he actually accepted it in his mind. And you've gotten to the point where you get these women or this woman to these, these really, women. truly these believe women. 
that the most important thing is your happiness. It and absolutely that way, is. And that way she is happy. And yes. All right, let me go to Jake. Oh, my God, you're a psychopath. No, Wait, Anthony. Fuck, Anthony, he's not, he's not alone. Hold on. Thank you. Jake, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly what he's talking about, about <clears throat> wanting them there but not wanting to have to talk to them and all that shit. That's exactly how I feel, and that's I think that's how all guys feel. And any guy who doesn't feel like that is just... Bullshit! Thank all, you. All Patrice is doing is vocalizing or, or behaving in a way that every one of us wants to behave, but is afraid of the consequences of doing it. We don't want to be lonely and alone. See, you what are you? You're 52. 52. <laughs> you, you, you've had episodes health-wise. So <laughs> you <laughs> are afraid of slipping in the bathtub and no one there to coddle you. Jesus it's a, it's Christ, a fear I'm of 80. It's a fear of being alone, and I understand that shit. You don't want to be alone, but you want to be by yourself. Self. That's what we fucking do. We're by ourselves creatures. I've been like this since I was 20 years old. I, I deal with my relationships pretty much the same way I have my whole life. There's a lot this of people. It. So you know what? Really has nothing you know to do what? with alone. Because or... you hit the lottery. What's your woman's name again? I'm oh. sorry. Man. Man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I forgot. Listen, you hit the lot. Your attitude, you hit the lottery with her. The way you go, you go, you go like your last situation. It was bad oh, shit, oh, but was you could have made that situation better. It's it's your fault for not making it better. No. If I let my girl be mm -mm. a certain way, she's gonna fucking take advantage of me. Cause that's what here's here's a, the, the, this is the secret to the whole thing. You have to keep them two things, hating you for how much they love you, and you have to keep. Them, I'm serious. They have to fucking hate you, you and they amazing. have to always want you. If there's ever a time she thinks she got you, she's not interested anymore. But listen, I am a fucking mess. I looked at myself naked the other day. <laughs> the muscle, I used to have muscular legs. They're starting to get back. I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> if she ever starts that she had me. Yeah. Do you think it's the only reason she fucking stays with me because she wants me to some degree? She believes that she's replaceable. It's an ego thing with women, man. And when if she if she doesn't have a, a battle with herself by the feeling the way she feels about you, your relationship stinks. She your uh, woman thinks you're cool no, right now. No. If she ever looks at you like a not cool old man, right? She's gonna hold look. on, hold on. Who's Elo? What's Is up? That Elo? That's Elo. That's Eric Logan. You don't return my calls. Shut the fuck oh, out of here! Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Jimmy, turn around. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. All Holy right. shit! All right. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Jesus. Mother of God. Oh, we're wow. in trouble. You know something? You got balls. Bravo. You got balls. Bravo, Whoopi. Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> in studio. Wow. Good morning. Good to see y'all. I understand you've been sending messages for me to come and visit. So I decided I'd come up and see y'all because I, I know you were concerned about a couple of things and I really wanted to clear it up, you know, because especially the whole thing about the, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the what? The, the stuff that you put on the your, sunscreen. Oh, the sunscreen. Yeah, the sunscreen. sunscreen. You I know, you were concerned that black people didn't know anything about sunscreen. So I thought I'd come up and tell you your mamas were wrong. They put the wrong shit on you. You know okay. let me So let, let me just run through all of it. So, all right, all right. so it's here, all right. and I'm pleased to see y'all. I'm pleased to see y'all this holla. morning. Holla, holla, <laughs> holla, holla. What's up, boys? Holla, this is so Whoopi. amazing. She's so ma like, oh, this man. Shit is like super. This no, like, no, you have no idea. No, Patrice, we've been we've been beating her up the last three days. She yeah. just oh started doing Quite a radio show. Welcome here in New to York New York City. Radio. Are I you? just saw you the other night, by the way. Where were you? I was over at the Stephen King uh, reading. Was uh, that amazing? Stephen. Very, very the amazing. Three of them just. I, yeah. I, I, I was loving it. And, I was. And let me tell you something. I was sitting directly up front. I, I like got the. I went through the auction. Got right. you know it's a great charity. Right, right, went right. through. Got front row tickets. Right. I hear, and now well, let's introduce <laughs> the star of Sister Act and stuff. Me and my girlfriend looked at each other and went, "Holy shit!" <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Whoopi's coming out. If she looks down, I, oh no! I, I didn't expect it. I we were laughing our asses off, and. Uh, 
Yeah, and I said the next day I came in and got and said Whoopi was very funny at the podium. It was a Lost good night. Earring. It was a good night. I got you were in your element, yes. and that was great. It was. And but, the, cool. but the fact you two guys have been shitting on that show, I mean, should definitely now give you pause because she came in. Shut and the you fuck up! You were right. You are an instigator. Agree with the word. And the just keep eating so you don't even have to talk on this whole thing. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. You know, I. I knew that I was going to get something from somewhere, and so I, I expected, and it was cool. It was cool. So, the the fleas, what do you call them? The are uh, the pests. The pests. <laughs> <Fleas. laughs> you know, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's funny. Why aren't you doing this stuff on your show? <laughs> because my show is geared to women in the morning, uh, and that's the that's what we're doing. That's oh, why it's yeah. a whole different group. It's a it whole different group. I'm talking about it. is. It's a whole different group. So I'm trying, to, so let's I'm be trying a, to be good. Let's be honest. Did yes. the uh, One Pest get to you? I just you know there. what? It 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 didn't get to me until I left the studio, and there were a couple guys around, and it kind of it made me uncomfortable because here's the I can't hit anybody. You know what I mean? So if somebody comes up to do something, my first instinct is to that they're going to hurt me. Right, right. So they freak me out a little bit. But no, you know I'm aware of what you guys do. You know I know how you work, and it, I've known we're, your show. You've been assholes. around forever. Wait. But everybody knows that. I know. You know, everybody knows that. But, but her. you know, why what? do they have to show up? <laughs> you ruined everything. You really did ruin God everything. Damn it. We had weeks in us. I know you did. Yeah, I know you did. September, you ready know, to but go. You can always come back when do it. But just let me establish the ladies first, please. Because here's what happened. Yeah. Because they jammed the uh, the phone the lines. Phones, you, you can't talk to anybody. All these women got really pissed off and said, you know what? If we can't talk to you, we're not gonna. We're not going to listen, and yeah. that kind of flipped everybody. So you're, out, and that's she's why. asking for a truce. No, I, no, you know I'm not. I'm, I'm saying to you, you guys have been doing your show for years on both ends, and I know that a lot of people concerned. They said, "Why are you doing this?" You know, the truth is. I can't be me and still do the movies I used to do because people are too nervous about it. They just get big. You say one thing, they're like, "Oh, we can't, we can't." You, you work can't with say you. that anymore. So you have to kind of just Gibson. sort of, <laughs> you know. No, he'll always work. Yeah, he'll always work. But you can't, you know, so I think to myself, do I really want to go back and forth to California and beg for work? And he, these guys said, you know, we're not afraid. We'll put you on because we're trying to get to the women. I said, cool, stay in New York, stay home, have a good time. I love you guys. I know you're out there, you're silly as hell. But you always have been. You always have I been. Hate this. Oh, you know, well, we shit, have to be God. God. Whoopi. No, you don't. This... You could actually be yourselves if you want to. <laughs> we were so excited. But, Hold on, I got to tell you, we were so excited that we were going to have a new enemy. We can't. I know. Whoopee. Now no. she comes yes. in all night. Now we have to go. Can we up. trade Jimmy for um, Cubby? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I. <laughs> yeah, this is all fun, but, but this look, is the this is to me what a comic is. Like this is what a comic does, as opposed to like an actor, like a pure actor. Yeah. Like, the pure actor would just hide and nothing. This is a comic just comes out and well, confronts I, you it. You know what? I, I, thought I, I thought I might. I thought I might. Uh, Where's your next stop? Uh, Beirut? <laughs> Jesus yes, Christ. If I can, if, listen, you know I don't fly. I you war wrecker. <laughs> I know I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. But uh, you know what it is? If you understand what folks do, if you understand the rag and if you know what it is, yeah. then you can sort of deal with it a little bit better. But if you don't, and you know, actors are sensitive that they're not comics. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're not comics, and so they don't have the thick, the thick skin that we like to think that we have until somebody messes with us, and then our lips poke out, and then we, yeah, I'm a, I'm a get him. All insecure you know? and stuff. Yeah. Down, down deep, all of us are like really insecure. It's so, so the best way to get around it is to just beat somebody else up. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we awful people? Just to make you yourselves know, feel better. But, but, but you know what? It's, 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 not, it's cool. We can have our listeners man? call tomorrow and say how great you are. No, they, they won't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> they won't believe it. But just, if you tell them to call, it's cool to call. Just don't by, physically, don't By the way, me. is that guy going to kick our ass? Yeah, wow. Who's he? <laughs> he looks like he's like, why are you doing this, Whoopi? He's just waiting for a problem. Ta no. Who is he? This is my... my Company partner, you cool? we run our company together. Cool? Yeah, all right. yeah, all yeah. Right. yeah. So I just he's want to not come loving this. No, he don't like us. Well, he's like, I told you not to do this. Get it no, over no, with no, and no, get the no, hell. I gotta Everybody say, said, we'll should bravo, we or man. should we not? And and the the idea of coming up and and saying, look, here's what's happening. We're all trying to you know make a little dough. We're trying mm -hmm. to make a living, having some fun. And I thought I figured <laughs> again. I said like I felt like I got a lot of telegrams from you to to come over and visit. So a lot of people saying we're scared and stuff. 
of. No. No, I got to do it. She would have set up balls on we, this woman. We, she comes in. We respect people that, that yeah. That, that come to us face to face. What are you going to do? What? The, the, what? The, what? The what? Woman, what? Yeah, what, what do you want scared. them to hit me? I know, right? <laughs> the woman <laughs> comes in here. You know? The reality and, and is, sits yeah. down and just starts talking. You know what? The reality I is, I did just grab the mic, didn't I? I yeah. just yeah. grabbed the mic and like, okay. Yeah, that mic's been waiting for no, a while. Listen, listen, all you <laughs> listeners, all you O and A listeners, we know that you're out there. We know you're having a good time. We know what you're doing. You got to give the guys kudos, man. You got to give them kudos. You can't be pissed that they that they are respectful. When I'm respectful to them, they're not going to smack me down. What do you think they're going to do? You do a very different show than us, and that's why it's Absolutely. so easy to goof on. Yes. And we're not yes. going for the same audience. But, no, no, but no. But you just no. took away all our fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We played well, your demo tape this morning. Who the hell are we going to rag on now? Do we have anybody? We have to go back Jim to Jim Kerr. Kerr. Oh, God. Not really. Jim Kerr. He's on 104.3. Jim oh, Kerr in the morning Rock crew Station. or something. Thanks. I have to apologize uh -huh. to Whoopi. Why? Why did you say something really bad? You read it in the paper. Oh, uh, you call me a bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, here's the deal. But you have to apologize. It's to true. Him. Why? Why? <laughs> because because I said you don't know when I'm. And and here's what I'm talking Who's about. Who's gonna apologize first? Because you have I to will. apologize. To I apologize. Because you got to us a little bit with the Howard Stern thing. I'm sorry. I did, <laughs> did I really? No, not no, really. I didn't. <laughs> Full of bananas. Full of bananas. We just love uh, seeing our name in the paper. We're in the paper again today, matter of fact. Yes, you are. So. Yeah, we're publicity whores. We know it. Whoopi, hey. I apologize for calling you a bitch. You know what? It's okay because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are occasions when the B, the biatch comes out of it. See, you know what it is? I, I'm, I'm trying to remember all the stuff I'm not supposed to say, but I'm okay because I'm on oh, satellite. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, don't say. Figure out a better way to say. Just, it's a yeah. lot of new stuff. Just forget, for forget all about <laughs> no, no, satellite no, radio tomorrow. when you go in tomorrow. Yes, yes, because when Cause I go in tomorrow, I'll be like, hey, I'm motherfucker, uh, <laughs> welcome to wake up with fucking Whoopi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could get in a little bit of a jam. I could get. Fucking, I can't by the way, that goddamn little theme was stuck in our head all morning. Which one? Oh, we, we played, played it all morning. We played it all morning. Do we have it here? Wake up with Whoop. How'd it go? Mm, was it? Is it? Oh, they? well, no one knew you were coming. So it's all waking up. Whoopie. You know, it's like a little jingle thing. What? Is it the um the uh, we kept playing the it. jazzy one, the yeah. one that's yeah, it's almost like, jazzy, like almost an old time jingle with a couple of pe voices in right, there and right. stuff, and it got stuck in our heads. <laughs> I'm so, we were so are you cursing really gonna, you. Are you really gonna try a nice show though? It's, it's got so such much, a as know, a comic, you got such an edge to you. That's what I don't understand. You know what it is? When I go do my stuff. It's mine. Mm -hmm. When I'm working for this, like doing the Oscars. When I'm working for them, mm -hmm. I can be funny, but I'm on. I'm on that mill. I'm on the treadmill. Well, when you're doing a show but in front I'm of some Democrats show, too. Well, actually, <laughs> no. were, you, were you there? No, I was not there. See, I'm, I wish I could find somebody who was there because, in fact... Wait, what are you talking about, by the way? Is she kind of ripped into I the did, Republican... I actually did Or, or it, was, the, it was reported, yeah. It was yeah. reported. And that's the most interesting thing about this is it doesn't have to be true anymore. Yeah. Someone can say something and it's right there and people run with it. And then when it's not true, they say, oh, we're really sorry, it wasn't true. But when that they're saying it, it's like, great. Right. Where's she... But... It, it's not that I hadn't done it. I didn't do it that night. I don't mind taking heat for stuff I do. But blame me when I do it. Yeah. You know, so it was a little bit disingenuous on their part to sort of make a yeah, big deal. But then you've been it was known also... to pick on a few people, though, and be a little potty mouth on, sometimes. I have no problem with potty mouth. <laughs> I love potty mouth. Yeah. And I'm mostly on uh, uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. From either side, but see, whenever one side is talking about how much of a potty mouth I have and how much I rag on them, they never mention that I rag on the other side as well. I rag on everybody because they're all full of poo poo. You get me. that sometimes. Poo -poo. We'll be talking, you know, and then you'll get like you see the. That? I just said poo poo. Uh, you can what say shit. Happened to me? Just say shit. The left will call you <laughs> like a right wing. Yeah. Lunatic, and then you say something else, and then you and get... And then the other like, side. Yeah, the next uh, uh, feedback you get is the same thing from the it's other side. The, you know, it's never-ending, and after 20 years, I know this, you know, mm -hmm. and you kind of go, yes, okay, I know this is going to happen, but, you know, when I'm doing my stuff, when it's my stuff, when nobody else has to take any heat for it or any responsibility for it, then I can go do, go berserk. But when, when it's about something else, that's what I'm doing. It's not so much that it's a nice show, but... Look at this, man. Look at all these papers. I, I can't look at them anymore. Oh, yeah. I'm, I can't handle it But that's anymore. just it. Like that, Now, you've only been on a couple of days, mm -hmm. but 
Is it hard to steer away from that? I mean, there's got to be some days where you wake up and go, God, I just well, want to rip this guy Wednesday apart. Wednesdays are my days to just, because we call it uh, Kvetch Wednesday. And pe peeves. Oh, people you, are you, peeves. Get, you have to give oh, every, name, every day yeah, a Manners name. Monday. <laughs> yeah. We heard Manners yeah. Monday. What was, Manners yeah. Monday. What was Tuesday? Tuesday, you don't remember? <laughs> Fool <laughs> everyone with Fuck them Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday. Friday. Speaking Friday. of which, have you guys done, have you... Gone and had your prostate check. All joking aside. Let right. me tell you. First one was last year. I just went back. I got in three months now. I is my next year, and I have to go get the. Uh, yeah. It's not fun, Whoopi. It's not fun, but it's you not know what? Fun. Do you know how many people are have? I've lost so many male friends that it's become really like a pain in the ass crusade for me. Literally. But I'm tired of yeah. <laughs> right. And your ass. Right. Not mine. My ass is fine. And but I and I picked a doctor with, uh, for his credentials. You should go in first hands. and see if he's like Diaz <laughs> Lamada. You know. It's so true. You know, I want it's a little so true. pencil. Finger guy, <laughs> Go doctor to, pencil uh, finger. A midget, find a midget Did you, doctor. Did you, have you? No, had not it? yet. Please do it, please. please I'm only please. 27 though, so it, it doesn't. At these days, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm my going youngest, soon, actually. My youngest friend, uh, who has had it, was 25. Oh boy. And, oh, what's the symptoms? I don't know. That's why you have to go in and get a PSA check. But, I really don't know. But Patrice was just talking about how ugly his ass is. You know what? It I think it's matter. okay. I think it's okay. As long as you don't ask anybody to kiss it, it should be fine. But a doctor is going to really not like... That's got to be a bad day for a I didn't a say a my asshole <laughs> was, was ugly. Mo I said when my, you come my in, ass cheeks. When you come in for a prostate exam, that's got to be like a bad day for a well, doctor. Yeah. No, <laughs> not really. Not if it's clean. I was well, I'm just saying. I'm just. I just wanted to know the symptoms. You know, if it's just go nice get young it. Young lad, please go get it. Frequent urination and things like that. Um, I think yeah. that's I think a it's large hard prostate, to. but yeah. you need I have to. That you too. need to go and look. You yeah. made me go. He, we flew back from L.A. one time, and I pissed so much. He's like, you should be checked for diabetes. He panicked me. I went. And I've been checked like three times since then for You're diabetes. You're a hypochondriac. No, anyway. I just pee a lot. I am too, though. I can't watch House, that goddamn show. So it Jim started Kirk as a hangnail. <laughs> House now has to kill three babies to save one. What? <laughs> what the hell? What, what did he? I got that. Can you everybody that has a problem with you guys now come in no. to the station? Yeah, because we are pussies in that way. <laughs> Can Jim Kerr come in and say, hey, we, Rich, we don't even know what he does. Richard I just Huff. that name out. Just Rich, that Richard out. Huff is a writer that uh, wrote the story about us uh, uh, in the Daily News. This morning, we had a problem with him. He bashed the pests in our show and stuff a little bit. Had a problem with him. Got him on the phone. By the end of the conversation, he was best friends, pals. But we We're can't stand the when head. people. So the secret us. is don't meet anybody because yeah, that's right. what it is. Yeah. Lock the Whoopi, doors for now. Whoopi on. Goldberg. Let's be honest here. She's okay. She's been around ever since uh, around the Dirt, world at eighty Earth. motherfucking days. Yeah. <laughs> the whole story. You understand? So when you see her, she becomes. Real, just like if Mel Gibson with his goofy face and his and his Jew remarks comes in here, yeah. you could not bash him like you do on the radio. Oh, there's you this, know, this that a, Nuremberg trial thing really was a little overdone, <laughs> Mel. <laughs> I understand. Hey, I agree with you. <laughs> <and those Jews. laughs> I feel the same way about those Jews in there. Was <laughs> just annexing what was his. <laughs> Cause, we're, cause, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to lock the doors for now. You can't on. have yeah. it happen. No matter who comes in, you can't just go. Oh, now you here, motherfucking Whoopi? <laughs> right. What, what was with that Ted dancing shit, motherfucker, <laughs> years ago? You gotta come in here and you just. I just bring it up old shit. I know. I know. I know. I know. What happened? Is it? Let me. Can I ask you a question? Is, Maybe. Wait, did you say? Did you say it? Or was? Is, are you? Do you have a problem with Oprah? No. I've never had an Oprah. Problem. What, did, what did I read about Oprah not inviting you to something? Some no, woman, it, a big woman thing. And you, thing. Was, uh, and you was upset, or, or somebody thought you was upset? No, was people. You? No, people keep asking me, Eric "How Logan come you're not right there?" The I keep saying, "Because it's her thing, and she didn't invite me." That's okay with me. Right, you know, if you if it's your party, mm -hmm. right? I can't be pissed off if she didn't invite me to your party. But you know her for I mean, no, I don't. Know, here's the, the thing: color purple, all right? black people don't know each other. No, but you, you <laughs> all, you all actors, all, yeah, but the, that was twenty one years ago we right. don't hang up we don't we don't hang out with us you know it's just we're not we're not we're acquaintances very very mild acquaintances so no it's not uh, something that i'm part of with her and it's cool it wasn't her party for it. like very influential or powerful black women wasn't mm -hmm. that the theme of it mm -hmm. Well, then, I mean, even if you're not close anymore, I mean, you certainly fit into that list. I mean... Well, perhaps I do, and when she gets <laughs> around to her list and she changes it, I guess I'll get an invitation. Will you go? Um, 
I don't know. Good, good. That's Whoopi good. Whoopi has know. no idea what she has started. The pests are going to turn on us today as soon as she leaves. Oh, I know. We're gonna, now we're going to get the wrath. You're kissing her ass. Oh, we're going to get please. the wrath. What's up with you pests? Yeah, exactly. Pests, get a life. Be nice. Oh, You've been mean to me. You Wait, wait. Now oh, i got to oh. talk to the pests. Oh, oh, I didn't no talk to the hand. Listen. It's like Mongo. Don't shoot him. You'll just make him mad. Don't do it. You have been doing some mean stuff to me down around the building that I'm in. There's no reason for y'all to walk up on me the way that you have. Did they? No reason at all. So, Pess, I don't mind. I like the boys. The boys, they're doing what they're doing, but y'all don't have to scare, physically scare me. There's don't, no reason don't, for Don't what physically scare me. Oh. Whoopi, I've been telling There's you guys no for three days to knock this off <laughs> and to just let other <laughs> people do their show. <laughs> they don't listen Insincere because they want to be in the paper ass. and it's hurtful. <laughs> Jimmy. Hey, Whoopi, could you, um, yes, baby. could you thank us <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah, because we, uh, Absolutely. for the last three days, we gave you a lot of attention yes, in uh, New York Radio, and I think yes, a thank you is in order. Didn't you what hear you me think? say good that morning to you Because even negative publicity is good. You know that. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> sure no, it's not. Bad publicity is good. Oh, any publicity, that's what they uh, told that's me they when I read you. You? ONA fired on the cover of the paper. It's like, yeah, that's good. Will you thank us tomorrow on your I show? Will. I, I will. I will, absolutely. Can I, deserve <laughs> can I give you all my best and tell you thanks for yeah, making Whoopi. it at least thank fun Thank you so much. Absolutely, me, And Whoopi. I'll see you. Can I come back sometime? Yeah. yeah. You, okay. you can absolutely come back. And can, do you mind though if a couple times if you hit on a subject can we just can we just talk about it a little bit? Please do. If we're nice, please bit. do it. No, and even if you're tearing into shreds, <laughs> it's cool. Okay. It's cool. Thanks, oh, it's thanks for showing the rest of the country that we're a bunch of pussies. Yeah. <laughs> we really are shit talkers <laughs> anonymously. <laughs> we're just cowards. We get behind the screen door with our mother and yell something and then hide. <laughs> Just I saw her coming toward the door, oh. and I just went. Hum, 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 hum. That's we what just... they want you to think, y'all out there. Oh. These boys, Can we get a quick they picture. They to see me. Absolutely. All right, we gotta take a we're break. We're taking a picture with our new friend. Deal with it, shithead. Whoopi, <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg is doing mornings up against us on WKTU here in uh, New York City. Thanks, Whoopi. Thank you. We'll continue. This radio show is getting weirder and weirder by the day. You guys are pussies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to take a beating now. Dude, the fans will understand. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's see what happens here. Uh, let's go to Howard in Wisconsin. Howard, what's up? Oh, I think we gotta help out Whoopi by having Jimmy go in for a prostate exam. You know, I'm scared as heck to do it. And if Jimmy did it, then I think a lot of other guys would probably go out and do it too. Could save I some lives, awesome. Jimmy. Jim, could, could you do save it? some lives? Could you do it live on the show? <laughs> I wouldn't care. It's Actually. hack radio, but it, it, it could be funny. Yeah, I guess it could be. <laughs> if observing from a fucking safe seat with your trousers up, <laughs> you certainly couldn't. We'll have curtains and stuff. You know something? You should you should have had a tape recorder on me a year ago. Really? Oh, the sound I made. Oh. <laughs> That's where they lubed the finger up. I did, actually did have that last year. You did? Yeah, he fished around in there. And fine. Uh, ah, I'm going to shit. Oh, no, I'm not. You don't think anything? No. Like, okay. it's not, like, painful? No, it's, it is a little painful, but I also had, uh, what are they called? The, uh, when they shoot water up your ass to fucking get logs to come out? Like Colonics, Colonics wow. man. And they feel, the first time you get it, the tube's a little too wide for your asshole. Oh, gosh. But the thin, yeah. the thin ones after that. All right. All right. Hey, we're we're going off topic though. These guys really want to kill us for they a while. They want to kill us, and we'll allow you. Uh, They're not going to kill us. They understand completely. Oh, sure they the do. The fans understand. <laughs> Rita, nothing. Yeah. Welcome aboard. What's up, Rita? Hi. Hi. I'm very disappointed in you guys for thinking you could trick us. What? Why? Because you moved Patrice to the other side of the studio. You have an extra microphone sitting there. I was all excited when she came in. I thought you were going to shit your pants. It was hysterical. And then I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. They knew she was coming the whole time. No, we didn't know she was coming the whole time. I had no idea she was coming. Norton had absolutely no idea. No idea. Let's go to John in Jersey. John. Hey, what's up, boys? Actually, I wanted to send you guys. I thought that was super cool for her to come in and uh, you know, face you guys like that. Unlike uh, Hoo Hoo, who just sitting in his little booth and... Uh, that's their word. Like Jimmy said, though, that's what comics do. You know, that's uh, she's a comic, so even on her show when we were, uh, you know, beating her up and giving her shit, the name was Opie and Anthony came up, and she was like, uh, "Well, wait, 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 what guys? What are we dealing with here?" Like she wanted to kind of just address it. Yeah. On the air, that's what pretty much a stand-up does. Hey, if we don't have an enemy, this show is screwed. <laughs> we 
I gotta, for, we gotta keep she up. did say we can still goof on our show, which is very goofable. She just <laughs> wants the pest to leave her alone as far as uh, waiting for and all that. Yeah, don't yeah, approach her outside. Pest. Don't scare her. She's, Get the hell out. You don't, you don't go go up to her. We're hearing stories that some pests actually went right up to her. And they probably, and she, here's the thing with the pest. They probably weren't being threatening. They were just being themselves and doing their which silly stuff. Which is threatening. But, but she's never dealt with that. Other radio guys would probably go, hey, hi, shut up, because they're used she to it. She said they walked up very close to her, yeah, but, but it was probably just their big guts, like, were yeah. so close to her, and the face was about <laughs> five feet away. Yeah. Let's, let's <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to roll through these hey, calls uh, as, as fast as possible. Bruce in Louisiana, go. Yeah, I was just going to say, you made up with Tommy Lee, you made up with Whoopi. Uh, why don't you just go ahead on Letterman and make up with Stern live there on the 31st? All I right. sense he's being a bit sarcastic, not healing. All, yeah, right. Yeah. All right, let's go to Doug out, Doug. <laughs> Doug. That was something that none of the other enemies have ever had the balls to do. Yep. That was something you got to respect about Whoopi. Look at Doug. You magnificent bastard! I, I read your book! I didn't even believe that she was in there until I brought the Pow Pow camera up. I thought it was just a complete scam. Nope. Jimmy's then face. The... When Jimmy turned around, <laughs> priceless. Because I was, I, I turned to the right and I saw Elo, who is, by the way, wearing the fucking... It could be the worst shirt ever made in any time period. Elo's kind of known now for his bad shirts because he's on Pal Talk a lot it's, and people goof on his shirts. It, it's, it's unbearably awful. But I well, saw him walk by... I, and then I, and she already sat down by the time I realized she was here. I had no idea she was sitting oh. next to me. It is, it's like a little house on the prairie picnic blanket. Yeah, it, but it, yet it makes you nauseous when it, when it walks by. <laughs> Bam and I were just talking last night about sending her a fruit basket full of bananas. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> See, I you're guess. awful people. <laughs> awful people. Yeah, now do something nice for her. Yeah, she was. The pest uh, can do something nice every once in a while. It was amazing that she came in. Uh, the uh, fact that she came in, look, if she came in. And started, like, trying to confront us. Even if she brought people or something. I know, first of all, Opie would have been the first one. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut You know, she came in, was civil, just sat there and, and you know, confronted the the problem. What then are we supposed Look, to do? If you're going to bash us, that's fine. And, and nope. for having no balls, fine. But I want to know what they would have liked to have seen us do. This show is special. I'm telling. I'll tell you why. We're it, like retarded. No, it's special. special. <laughs> like silver. Everyone gets a gold medal. Because special. Unlike, unlike other shows, from time to time, we don't mind eating our balls and allow or you each other's. That's yeah. right, Jim. <laughs> and allow you to to listen to us getting our balls eaten. Mm-hmm. It happens. At times, that is great radio. Yeah. That's true. It, it doesn't always have to be, oh, oh, yeah. Like Sarah Jessica Parker, she put us in, in our place uh, back in the day. And we yeah. have no problem admitting it from time to time. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll have to eat our balls. William Donahue called in, and we wound up getting along with him. And there's nobody I hated more than William Donahue. Well, and all of a sudden, he calls in, and he's cool, and you get along. All the shows will not allow uh, you to listen as they get their balls eaten. That's, yeah. a, that's a big difference right there. Let's go to Richie in Bayside. Richie. I picture the biker scene in the Bronx Tale, all using chaps, Jimmy right behind you, she teabags you, and you all go to the parade after. <laughs> all right, let's go to Cigars and Scotch. Hey, I hear Howie's going to fire up the chopper, cut his vacation short, and make an appearance in studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, let's go to Joanne in New York. Too Joanne. much personal shit there to, like, you know, uh, uh, that would give a fine how do you do. Uh, to um, Howard, yeah. Uh, phone, Elo. We didn't right. know. We didn't know Whoopi from a hole in the wall. <laughs> I didn't know anything personal about Whoopi. I still don't know anything about her. We just knew that listening to our show was uh, it, it stunk. We we didn't like what we heard. It's not meant for us. It's fun to goof on, and that's what we did. Let's say hi to Joanne. Hi. What's up, Joanne? Hi. Oh, guys, you let her kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good for Whoopi, though, man. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of both of you, and she did. She kicked your ass. The uh, fact that she had the balls just to walk in and sit down, she and she wasn't nervous. No. She just sat down You're and kidding. fucking... She hosted the Oscars, I think, right? Yeah. yeah I suppose great. fucking great. five dummies in the studio isn't very intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. And the, that was a and, great show today. And the pictures we took will be up on opianthony.com. I'll be looking Hey, at uh, did Sam get the video as she was walking in? I... Or he didn't know, right? Of course or not. Or did he know? Did he? Did you didn't get the video as she was walking in? Because no he's one... not gonna uh, stab another black person in the back like that. No. By videotaping them. I got the commotion, not 
as she was, I was right behind her. I grabbed the camera right. as soon as I saw her through the door. All right, but you didn't All right know. so okay. you got some stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. You yeah. were right behind her as she was walking in? Yeah, I grabbed oh, the camera. Enough, if there were more people like you, L.A. wouldn't have burnt down about uh, 15 years ago. You didn't get ago. her as she was in the cab coming from... Yeah, all right. Well, the video... Well, Sam doesn't know. He's the, just struggling internally. The video and the pictures will be up on opianthony.com. Uh, Eric is working on that right now. Let's say hi to Dan in California. Dan? Hey, boys. What's up? Hi, hey. Dan. I think that was pretty cool, but how long did you guys know about it? Uh, I, I, honest to God, I Ramon! had... <laughs> he doesn't care. Chuck, Chuck in Indiana. Ramon. <laughs> God, that must be awful if you're not a fan of the show to get Ramon. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck? Hey, I want to say hi to the new wise guys on XM. Uh, three big pussies in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> you ass. Yeah, that ain't bad. Uh, 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 she hey. treated us like a couple of bright shows. <laughs> we got, um, we got. I felt like a big my little dude. We got Tyra Banks checking in. Yes, Tyra. Hey, I was wondering why Whoopi didn't mention me. Uh, Tyra, because everything isn't always about Tyra. Yeah. Well, this was, and I want to know when I can come in. Uh, well, we love your show. Love what you do, Tyra. Come in any time. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Schwoogie. Schwoogie. Hey, guys. Hey. As a previous caller said, yesterday, Tommy Lee, today, uh, uh, Whoopi, guys, are becoming quirky Opie and Anthony. Schwoogie, you know we love your voice, right? Yeah, I know. You add a lot of great stuff to the Opie and Anthony show, but I can't, I can't get it, the visual out of my, my, head, my brain that you might be nine feet tall. No, no. I'm about 6'2", about 260. 260. 260. Yeah. I, um, that's uh, what I weighed in the second grade. <laughs> I have a big tall guy. I had a glandular problem. It's a pro. Uh, what do they call that? Pituitary gland. No, I'm, I'm normally proportioned. Normally proportioned. Ooh. That's good. Here's I up. could palm a Volkswagen. <laughs> Watch it out. All right. He doesn't want to be goofed on. Let's go to uh, Leprechaun. First second, now her. I'm running out of people to hate, man. What are you going to do? Bring on Carrot Top next? You know what we're gonna have to do? Uh, Jimmy likes Carrot Top. I like Carrot Top. I, uh, I don't know if I did. I right. was there when he did Tough Crowd. He was a fucking funny dude. Uh, a couple of uh, instant feedbacks coming in. Patrice, how can you hang out in the studio with so many bitches? You were the yeah. only one that proved you were a man. It's just, uh, it's just. Uh, well, I, I explained it to him what it was. It's yeah. When you don't see him, it's a different thing, man. Mm. You got to yeah. be in their face. You got to be up All in right. their grill. We need to get a list yeah. of uh, new people to hate because we're running out. Fan. We, we made good with Tommy Lee yesterday. <laughs> Let's attack Fan. We made good uh, with Tommy Lee yesterday, and now Whoopi today. This is not good. Yeah. This is not good for the show. And it's always you. It, you, the, that... you called Tommy Lee a pussy. Yeah. We had to deal with that. And then you called Whoopi a bitch. Yeah. Had to deal with that. Yeah. And they come in. But this does just go to show, though. Like, a lot of... We are just faggots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. The phones are still just lit. Greg in Georgia. Greg. Boys. The virus is spreading down in Georgia. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah. What? Pretty cool the way y'all handled uh, Whoopi, man. That was that was all right. Handled and, uh, her. She uh, handled us. Yeah, let's go. She smacked our stupid faces. When we said we loved you in Sister Act. <laughs> let's go to Joe in New York. <laughs> Joe. I will not go that far. Hey, guys. Got to give you credit for eating your balls, and I got to give her credit for coming up there. I thought we were going to have a hot 97 East Coast, West Coast blow out there. <laughs> yeah, she was threatening to tinkle on our children, and then she realized we didn't have any. All right, let's go to Scott in Modesto. Scott. Bump a bump a booty, bump a booty, bump a booty. Tara Reed. Hey guys, I just will make sure I'm still coming in tomorrow at nine. <laughs> All right. Tara, we loved your show. You're welcome to come in. Oh great, wild on, wild on. Right. Wild on. Uh, brand new respect for Whoopi coming through the instant feedback here. Kara from Rochester. Fuck the naysayer. She had balls of steel to come into the studio like that and talk to you guys and just because you treated her with respect doesn't mean you're pussies. You threw the gauntlet down and she responded and it was great radio. ONA from uh, Pittsburgh. I don't get it. You bitched about how shitty she was at radio when she came in. You swallowed her fat cock and loved it. Hmm. Jesus. That's Sounds accurate. like someone we know. <laughs> ah, we beat her up a little bit. We took a couple jabs. I didn't. A couple soft jabs. I put my arms at my side and stuck my weak chin out and said, "Go on, slug it." We had, we had foamy like boxing gloves on. Oh, they were like little rascals boxing jabs. Big A shoes on our hands. <laughs> uh, well, Joe from from FullblownAids.com, mm -hmm. a great uh, fan site. I guess if Howard shows up in the studio, you all would blow him. Fucking pathetic. I'm done, pussies. Ah, uh, that's it. We lost a listener that's because bye, of this. Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. 
Take care, Joe. We hardly knew ye. Uh, Rick from uh, Rhode Island. I think you guys. <laughs> I think you guys are more afraid of what happens when she leaves. It's like Frankenstein realizing his monster has turned on him. Jason from Missouri, you guys deserve a thank you. You folded like a house of cards, you lame fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's say hi to Steve the Whistler. Steve. Uh, guys, I was wondering when I can uh, come in for my apology. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Jason in Ohio. Jason. Hey, guys, i got to give you uh, props. I hope you, you, you're going to make her, first you made her apologize, and then you're going to make her thank you guys tomorrow on the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was see, that slipped past now. A lot of people aren't recognizing the fact that even though we were pussies, that Opie did make her apologize, <laughs> and like he always does to people that do not have to, shouldn't be apologizing. And That's, thank you. And in, in fairness to me, I did point out that this show had poked fun at her. Wow, wow Jim. Jimmy. You yeah. really did go out on a limb I don't there, fuck Jimmy. fuck around. And finally, I'm not starstruck ever. Tony Danza. Tony. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. I'm coming in on Monday. <laughs> all right. Guys, got to say, love the show. Liked how you goofed on me and all. Oh, Tony, we think you're great. Yeah, you're dude, wonderful. They fucked you, Alan. Could you sing a little bit? All right, we should. Why don't we take a break? We'll regroup, get into some. And uh, some as things. I look outside, I see uh, hysterical comedian Dustin Diamond. You might know him as <laughs> Screech. He'll be working his way in. Uh, his big cock on the table. <laughs> oh God! What? Did, what happened? That is the only way we should have played it. Why would? Who would want to be the, fucking nasty to her when she came in? It's like you don't feel nasty. Why force? I don't know how great. like. How you would do that? What is it like? You fucking suck so bad. Get you know, get the fuck out of here. You don't deserve to even be in our studio. Like, is that it? Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's well, not the way. Not, I... It's not. It's not personal. Yeah, no. it's, 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 it's a like, business attack. It's a. It's, it's just like you say. It's like, not even a business attack because she is going for a completely different audience. Yeah, it's just, no, we, it's just, not we a, just find things that goof on, and yeah. sometimes it's it's because we really hate the person. Other times because it's it's just bad radio. You don't ever hate any person. Who a person do you really hate except for Man Cow and Howard are two people that like that it's is, personal. Then you, but no one else is it's like Whoopi. If you personal. don't know Whoopi, you just trashing her because she's on the Whoopi, show. Yeah, she comes in, it's like hi, saying. and you're like. Holy shit! You've been fans of her goofy movies, yeah. Super Cop and Cop well, Three, and well, well, what Ghost, right. Niglet Lawyer. Well, she was. <laughs> uh, let's go to let's go to Donahue in Philly. Donahue. Yo, last time I heard you guys shit your pants like that, you thought Bernie Getz was going for his gun. Well, Bernie yeah. Getz. We really did think he was going for a gun that day. We didn't shit our pants. It, we were uh, it, like, he ran out of here when we pissed him off. Taking and a bath. And we, was, you, we, we were being nice to him. You broke his CD, you thought. Oh, me again. We. Great. It's always me, right? But got to give her credit. She did do her <laughs> shit. So. Yeah, she came in. He ran out and uh, there's some kind of like briefcase thing he brought with him and he started reaching in there like he thought he had a gun that we, he could use. We did call her out on her shitty show. Someone's saying you didn't call her out on her shitty show. We didn't use that language. Yeah. <laughs> didn't say it was a shitty show. We said something like, uh, yeah, well, you know, different different uh, strokes, different folks. Different folks. That's kind of the same thing. All right, we're going to regroup. We'll continue with uh, Patrice O'Neill. We're leaving for Boston right after the show. We'll be broadcasting live from WBCN tomorrow. Patrice O'Neill, of course, part of the ONA Traveling Virus. Tickets oh, yeah. still available through Ticketmaster.com. Are you disgusted, Patrice? OpianAnthony.com has all the info on our own ah, virus. Done. <laughs> Done with us. Uh, Saturday at the DCU Center in Worcester. And uh, lots of tickets to give away outside BCN tomorrow. Dave uh, Grohl is one of those drummers that like has a style that is identifiable. Like, you know, you, you guitar players have certain styles. You hear a sound. Like, if you hear, uh, what's his name, uh, from Queen? Um, Brian May. Brian May. You hear his guitar sound, you know it's Brian May. Things like that. Like, he's got a drum style that you just know it's him, by the way he's playing. And by the band that you listen to. Guy's great. All right. Um, this is what Big we're going to do. We have to leave uh, at 11. Don't worry. We'll be here. What time 11. is it, Ope? I don't feel like turning around. It's, it's uh, 28 past the hour. Ooh, got it. It's, 30, it's 32 past the hour. Is it? Uh, I'm going with that My computer clock. says 20. I'll go with this clock, too. <laughs> Believe me. Whichever one's closest to me leaving. Someone show me a clock that says 5 to 11. I have too <laughs> much to do today. Because I'll buy that, too. Uh, as we speak, Danny has hit the streets of New York with Big A. Danny. We are buying Big A shoes today. What's wrong? Is it going to be like the stupid Christmas shoes song? <laughs> is, is my stepfather, Sal, going to start crying? Ro, make sure he gets that gets kids some good shoes. Bro. They're buying shoes for Big A, Ro. <laughs> I'm getting all choked up, Ro. 
<laughs> the Christmas shoes. <laughs> Look, Big A was in line with his big meatloaf feet, <laughs> and he couldn't afford shoes. Damn, but then someone bought him shoes, Ro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Christmas shoes, Ro, from Baltimore. Oh, oh Baltimore. Oh. oh, my God. You see, I think that's the... I think Perfect. Oh, it's the perfect. Big, that's exactly oh. what they look like. Big, you want to just throw potatoes by his feet and see what happens? <laughs> Carve them up. Oh. <laughs> Damn, I wish I'd have said meatloaf. I couldn't. I, that's what was on the tip of meatloaf my brain. Meatloaf was yeah. exactly it. <laughs> meatloaf. Uh, let's say hi to Dave in New York. Meatloaf. Dave, what's up? <laughs> hey, how you doing, guys? Welcome aboard, Dave. Thanks for calling the program. Do that, Dave. Yeah, I'm on board with Howard Stern here. I just wanted to call and tell you guys that uh, you guys are showing your true colors. You guys are nothing but a bunch of cowards. A buddy of mine who listens to XM, who uh, I've been buddy. trying to switch him over to Sirius, yeah. oh. has, had talked me into listening for the last hour, hour and a half. Uh -huh. Right? Hold That's on, all. you've only listened to an hour. Uh, you know, this is a fake call. To yeah, he's a I'm fan. Not even gonna Go ahead. Hey, you're, you're, you're found out. Go ahead. Say hi and how much you like us and where Jimmy's going to be. Okay, I love you, and I love you. <laughs> I love you. I watch it every Sunday. Thanks, uh, buddy. Yeah, you got me. Dick it's bag. Speaking, speaking of Lucky Louie, we should do the uh, the Spanish to... We could do that as well. Oh, yeah. They're still walking out with Big A. We should have um, some audio. Of course audio. they are. I love the fact it's that some Spanish guy has to listen to my nonsense yeah. translator. Translator. Hey, Jim, explain a little bit. Well, I am... Um, on rich. a program, I'm Rich on Lucky Louie, and HBO, um, Sunday HBO nights. Sundays at 10.30 after Entourage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they have the Spanish channel, which also shows Lucky Louie, so they have, obviously, Spanish people HBO translating. HBO Espanol. Yes. And they have to translate some of my dialogue, which always mm -hmm. makes me laugh that somebody has to watch this idiocy and translate it. And then translate it and try to sound like the same, you. The same Jim gestures. Inflection. inflection, right. Anyone else yeah. notice that Jim's getting uh, more scenes and more camera time yep. as this noticing, series goes on? Noticing. Thank you, We're Carolyn. all noticing. We're all noticing. By the way, um, I don't know if I brought it up uh, during our big um, commercial shoot, yeah. Opie, when we uh, t uh, t uh, filmed that. Um, all I could think of is, what do I do with my arms? <laughs> I've goofed on it so much with Jimmy that you stand there and go, all right, now what the fuck do I do with my arms? Can I tell you something? Even? I figured out something, though. I think uh, you'll like it. I think you? you'll like it, yeah. Can I tell you something that's uh, right down that alley as well? I grab up his cock with him, but... Yeah. Why the homo stuff today? And I'll tell you what I do. It's my every own. day. It's just I'm trying to bring you into the fold. Uh, you, you were talking about us sharing a room earlier. and I'm trying to bring you into I, the, more of the homo fold I, uh, here. Because everybody else, we all make gay jokes. And for some reason, you're always out, out of the loop. And by loop, I mean that tight leather one. <laughs> and if you're not with sure, a little hair around it. And then just to tell you what I do with my arms when you're shooting a commercial, I fold them in front of me and put my head in them and cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was one commercial with more on the way. The next one, I swear to you, you could be a grip. Uh, <laughs> All right, listen. I have to have my pride and never do one. Speaking of the, No! Speaking of uh, hands... I saw Talladega Nights, the Will Ferrell movie. It's really good. I liked it a lot. But there's a scene where he does the whole hand thing because he doesn't know what to do. He's he's really he's being interviewed for the first time <laughs> after winning one of these races because everyone knows he be becomes this big NASCAR uh, race driver that wins everything and then whatever. Then the story goes from there basically. But he's being interviewed for the first time and he's got his hands up in front of his face. He doesn't know what to do. The reporter starts pushing his hands down. <laughs> And I, uh, that's pretty I, funny. All I could think of was Jimmy. I'm like, Jimmy, what do you do with your hand? Will nailed this scene. He nailed it. Wait till you see it when it opens, I think, tomorrow. Jim is good at it at a table, too. I like your hand gestures. I'm the master You're at You're very table. just kind of throwing those palms and fingers around. I like that. Yeah. All, right. all right, so Jim Norton, Lucky Louie, uh, Sunday night, we do the English to Spanish thing because on Spanish HBO, they, they show Lucky Louie and they get actors to, to do the voiceovers yeah. for the original lines. So we like to do this from time to time. Um, and this one should be really good because Jim Norton plays a, a retard <laughs> and uh, he's trying to get a free slice of pizza. At he's the, playing like he's retarded. Not retarded on the show, though. Right, right. Just, oh, um, yeah, no, just this scene. Yeah. He he realizes if you play retarded, uh, you get a, a free slice of pizza from this guy. Brilliant. <laughs> so this is the original scene. It's it's less than a minute, and then we'll play the Spanish version. Like a slice of pizza is going to make my miserable retard life any better. 
makes me sick. <laughs> There's the original scene <laughs> for HBO Espanol. Same scene. Oye, ¿por qué querías venir? Yo jamás había venido. Yo vengo a veces como pizza gratis. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Por qué? Solo finjo retraso y me dan una. Fíjense. Uh -oh. Hola. ¿Qué tal? We all know that one. Uh, hola. Did you hear? Uh, Sound like Big A. He's getting ready. Uh, he's getting ready. Let's. Get hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Somos amigos. Hola, oye, qué gusto verte Aquí tienes, amigo Gracias, ustedes son buenas personas <risa> Qué simpático es, ¿no crees? <risa> Eso es asqueroso Ya sé, pinches mamones Darle pizza a alguien solo por ser retrasado Son unos pendejos ¿Creen que una pinche pizza va a poder mejorar mi miserable vida? Me provoca náusea. I don't like the fact they're dubbing this wrong. Yeah, you can hear it. And taking my laughs out, these shitheads. Because I'm walking back and a laugh on the walk back. He didn't. No. I don't know what he did differently. What did he do differently? I don't know. Apparently he crawled back in an unfunny fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dirty Mexican. Get my lines right. <laughs> what, was it you or so you're back to picking fruit? <laughs> it would be there, but they dub it in, but they don't have a guy acting, and they just have them dubbing it in, obviously. Yeah, dubbing in, but yeah, on my well. walk back, there's a pause there, and I, I go from retarded, and as soon as I face Louis and Mike, I straighten up and act normal. That kind of laugh. And in his version, it didn't. Yeah. So all these fucking Spanish people are watching, thinking that I'm not funny in They're English. Pulling Maybe back the uh, laugh track. Maybe that type of humor just doesn't relate to Oh, them. please, these fucking guys think it's hilarious. That all they do is fake mustaches are funny to them. <laughs> oh, oh, my Espanol! <laughs> fucking dopes in the audience oh. are cackling. You watch Brazilian TV, it's all Puppets Mucho hilaritio. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, tee -hee. Oh, <laughs> Danny's ready? Shoot. Uh... But after all that bashing, let's bring in uh, the Spanish guy that dubs the voices for uh, Jimmy. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> we gotta think on our feet. What do we do? What do we do? All right, let's go to Danny. Danny! Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, fellas. I'm here with Big A. We're in front of the shoe store. We're gonna make our way in right now. Ah. Well, uh, what shoe store? It's called Make 10. Oh, thank God you didn't pick Nike Town, because that was real close to. Well, I was going to, actually. <laughs> I didn't think the mics would work inside, though. <laughs> thank God. I just saved some bucks. <laughs> So here we are. There's a wide selection of... I uh, hope they're very wide. <laughs> sneakers. There's some sketchers and loafers. Mm, loafers. What kind of shoes do you think Big A would look good in? <laughs> Meat loafers. One shaped like a, a poor gross. <laughs> his feet, his shoes right now look like... Um, you know the type of things you have to wear on your feet when you break your foot to heal it? <laughs> no, not an air cast. Yeah, but one of those big, like, uh, stupid... Like the, uh, they call it a boot. <laughs> they call it a boot. Yeah, the things. boot. Like the boot. Oh, there's... What nice music are they playing? In the I don't know, they just turned on some awful stuff. Jesus. Probably. It's the Christmas shoes, row. <laughs> Probably James Blunt. It's in every store now. Is it? Because it's safe music. Hey, Opie, good news. There's a $10 off sale. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right Big A, come on, start picking out some shoes here. Well, let's talk to Big A. What kind of shoes does uh, Big A want? Uh, are there people there that help? Yeah, you know what? All right, have assistance. him sit down. I want him measured and everything. Okay, hang on. Well, because they, they got to oh, get the shoe sales. Well, he's got to pick the shoe first. And I want a circumference yeah. on that fat Can foot. Can we get some oh. assistance, please? Oh, very good. This, uh, this man, Andrew, he's uh, looking for some new shoes. Do you, uh, you think, uh, what would you suggest for this guy? New shoes? You want to ask me if I mind being on camera first? Oh, that's, that's a, a good idea. Ghost. You want to be on the radio, then? No, of course not. Of course, of course you don't. Know. Room. No. What's the name of that not. store, Danny? Uh, Make Ten on Sixth Avenue. Yeah, what a twat. <laughs> so big eight, why don't you just? You want to ask me? Want. Shut up. <laughs> you don't have to film her at all. She's not going to add to this radio. Yeah, what yeah. is she going to add to it? Boy, what you? Oh well, <laughs> dude, she works in a shoe store. Exactly. Please. She probably tells all her friends she has a job singing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I work in a nightclub. Yeah, I'm an entertainer. Big A, what size. Can we hear from Big A? I don't know. Um, yes, I'm here. Oh. All right, are you excited about your shoes? Yes, very. What I'm kind excited. of shoes do you want to get? 
Um, oh, Sketchers or black shoes that yeah. look like dress shoes they could wear yeah. for a lot of different things. I guess the black shoes. Black <laughs> shoes. Like Spit it out, rain cloud feet. <laughs> 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 yes, but I like shoes. I would love if Big A called her a cunt and then walked in like a cow. She fucking fucked up everything. She really brought it down because everybody's thinking of how much you want to curse that dumb spick out. I know. Hey, you want to add me on my camera, you fucking you whore? Ask me if I might be on right. camera? Right. Why? Kick it. You know what, Big A? Get, get a shoe and throw it and then walk <laughs> out. She's not used to it unless it's night vision. Show, that, show her that retard strength. <laughs> yeah. Well, just pet her hair in the barn and then kill her and cover her with a couple of little hay pieces. Get a couple of shoes and just, just bite them. Something tells me there'll be enough God. abuse when he finally slips one of his shoes off and clears that place uh, out. What's your feet like look like, Like a gas Big bomb. A. I, I think we should send Big A in for a fucking pedicure one time Good. and get that on the air. I guarantee his feet just, just stink. Just pew. Where are we at? Well, Big A's just staring at the shoes. He hasn't picked out a pair yet. Well, can you tell that what kind, Lomox what kind to fucking find have? a shoe? What, do they have? Do they have nice shoes, A? Anything's better than They're what he's right. wearing. Yeah, tell male not, nurse to find really. shoes. <laughs> hey, Big A, what kind of shoes? They got Nikes, Adidas? Uh, not really. Not really what? They don't have Nikes. What do they have? Fucking leave that shitty store. But well, we can go somewhere else. I mean, they have like sketchers, like in terms of sneakers. They have oh, and kick stuff. them! You know what? Take you know what? Knock three of them off the fucking shelf and walk out. <laughs> well, they do have a nice selection of cowboy boots we can get for them. Well, how do you want to oh, get great. that fat foot in a cowboy boot? <laughs> <laughs> do they have Do they have uh, bread pans too? He can stick his fucking feet in. Why don't you buy him two raw turkeys? That <laughs> fucking fluffy foot fucker. <laughs> say, say that, Big A. Big A, knock five shoes off the fucking shelf and walk out of there. And go, fuck this place. <laughs> s -s 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 suck my dick and leave and go to Nike Town. Sh shoe selling bitch. Nike Town might be too sporty for him. I don't uh, think so. Nothing's the. Yeah, yeah, they, got all that, they, they got all that shit going on with yeah, the sneakers these Fashion days. and stuff. I mean, something. Well, it's up to Big A. It really is. What do you want, Big A? Take him to a luggage store. What do you <laughs> really want? Cases. Buy two carry-ons when, for when his you, feet. <laughs> when you dream... <laughs> Old duffel bag shoes. <laughs> Big A, do your shoes have two handles that you can pull out and roll them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Big A, yes. Big A, yes. what yes. shoes do you... When you sit at home drooling, dream. what shoes... A perfect feet. Do you, do you wish you had when you look at those turned-over messes you got? <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Nikes. Nike. Nikes, go to Nike, Nike Town. Nike Town. Mike's, the, Mike's, 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 the real Hold question on. is... Oh, the Mike's crap out there. When you, uh... You know what, though? Just get him shoes. We don't need to make it into a bit. Yeah, so we're, we're not We're not getting much out of him anyway. Yeah. No. Tell uh, Big A to curse out the store employee and, and leave. Wait, what? Big A, curse, curse her out for being a bitch. Oh, I guess we'll make believe we're still in the store. What do you think? We were born yesterday? Nothing, bitch. <laughs> oh, no, the, the door was wide open. Believe me, she heard it. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, big bitch. Andrew, when you're in a shipyard, which one of those boats do you see that you'd love on your feet? <laughs> hey, the whoopee pictures are up on opianthony.com. All right, go to Nike Town and take care of Big A, and we'll see you guys in a little while. Will do. All right, thank you, guys. I went nowhere. No. All right, let's go back to Jim acting uh, on Lucky Louie on, I'm very on good. HBO. So uh, now we got the dinner scene with uh, the teenage girl. It was a fine scene. <laughs> Tina can't do anything because she needs Mike's protection or other males will urinate on her head. <laughs> All right, there oh. you go. Let's hear Manuel get through this one. Yeah, no kidding. Up <laughs> front. Ben, tiene todo planeado. ¡Vete a la mierda! That's fuck you, I guess, huh? Vaya. No había oído eso en diez minutos. Carajo, tu ex marido debe haber escupido demonios al metértelo. Es la verdad. Mike, ¿tú quieres que Shannon se mude con ese sujeto? Ah, Tina la está educando. Y hace un gran trabajo. Pero necesita tu apoyo. Kimbo. Mike es el macho alfa y es el padrastro. Cualquier hijo que no engendró es una amenaza para sus vástagos. De hecho, su instinto le exige matar a Shannon y devorarla. Sí, más o menos. 
Tina no tiene elección. Necesita su protección o los machos la van a orinar. Yorina. Oh, did you blast? Oh, wow. Who you, blasted? Yorina. Who blasted who? Trace blasted me. Who blasted who? I don't smell anything. It's nothing. That's all we got here. Ooh, a ooh, little dab will do you. All right, finally, the uh, the last scene. Jim's favorite line. Is this the line you were talking about that we had to talk about? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm only in those two scenes. I'm not in another scene. No, this is the one from the girl. Oh, yeah, I just liked the line. I just thought it was... Uh... But this is the line you were happy... Uh, oh, yeah. There was a whole thing you were talking about. Like, oh, yeah, that turned me on. Yeah, it was just that one little... This is the line, line that turned you on. That, I think so, that yeah. That you made you fill up, as you said. I haven't heard... I think yeah, I think so. I haven't heard what, what Dan has. All right, Dan has a. Before nice we move on, this is this is a line from Lucky Preach Louie. The choir, kid. That the uh, the girl that's playing a teenage girl is she? Oh, is she a teenager? Ah, uh, no, she's probably eighteen or nineteen. She had great legs though, and she's making out with her older boyfriend in one scene. I was fucking really turned on. What legs she had! I kept trying to rap with her. I got nothing. All right, no. and this is the line that just drove you nuts, and you filled up a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, I did. I definitely did. Okay, finally, because we've been talking about this off and on for a while. You know, I just think it's really amazing all the things that you do. I mean, you take care of Lucy, you run the household. And you know what? I have not seen you have a drink all day. Yeah. I don't know. It just makes me want to do something really nice for you, you know? Like blow you or something. Nice. Just to give you the storyline, teenage girl. She's, she's kicked uh, out, so she's living with uh, Louie and the family there. Mike and Tina's kid, yeah. yeah. She's living with Louie and Pam for a few days, and she offers to... <laughs> She has that Suck. sexy Demi Moore kind of rasp oh, to her man. voice. Well, Fucking, I wanted, well, that's not the... Little, no, I mean a uh, rasp to her voice. I was really... She had a very, like, sexy voice, that girl. Nice okay. little legs. Nice legs. Some of them look just like girls. <laughs> Turns a guy on. Here's Michael. Here's the Q&A. The last one on the end, what legs on that guy? His name's Michael, like yours. No. You do a good job. We're going to get out of here. We cool. have to drive to Boston. Boston. <laughs> Lieutenant, you're hurting me. Not as bad as I'm going to. <laughs> we got to drive to Boston, so we're going to get out of here. Don't you come in my hand, you cocksucker. I'll rip it off. <laughs> uh, this feels like a little cotex with cotton balls. Ow, oh, Lieutenant, you're hurting me. <laughs> Holy shit. You remember that scene? No. Where Nick Nolte has his fucking, he's a big, dirty lieutenant, and there's a little tranny out there, and he goes, what's your name? And she goes, Sophia. And he squeezes her cock and balls, and she goes, oh, lieutenant, you're hurting me. And he goes, not as bad as I'm going to. Now, what's your name? Sophia, squeeze out oh, Sylvester, Sylvester. <laughs> And then he goes, don't you come in my hand, you cocksucker, I'll rip it off. <laughs> Nick Nolte? Nick Nolte oh, in shit. Q&A is the fucking... All right, we need clips. It's the most quotable film ever. Oh, need it. Wow, you, it took you two years to... No, I'm sorry, I've brought that up many times. Have you? You wops, you guineas that jump over your dying mother to fuck your sister. He's got the best fucking lines in that. Nick oh, man. Nick Nolte in Q&A. It's a Sidney Lumet film with uh, Timothy Hutton, who's okay in it as a pros as a DA, and the little uh, who's the little Spanish guy. He's in everything. He played like uh, uh, Car Carlito Way. He played Pacino's partner Luis in Carlito's. Guzman. Luis Guzman, yes, is in it. Um, Charles Dutton, I think, is a, is a cop in that. And uh, Sidney Lumet's daughter is awful. And Armand Asante is in it. Wow. And Nick Nolte plays I a fucking rogue, fucking thing. like a dirty fucking cop with a big thick mustache. <laughs> And that's fucking one scene where he's looking for this fag who saw something and can sink him. So yeah. he's trying to find this guy so he can kill him. So bad. Oh, <laughs> Lieutenant, you're hurting me. Not as bad as I'm going to. Oh, we got to get that then. Okay. Put and then he goes to fuck a tranny. He's like, uh, I'll pitch, you catch. Oh, shit. Just some great lines. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, lover. Don't be scared, lover. All right, we'll Such have more on this tomorrow. Well, we're broadcasting live from BC in Boston. Bass, it's a work yeah. of art. We got a we got a road oh, trip you'll love to it. start. Road trip to start. Patrice, what are we promoting? Uh, Mohegan, Sun, Mohegan Sun. What? Friday and Saturday. This he, Friday and Saturday. This Friday and Saturday. Maybe. After our gig, he's doing Mohegan Sun. Yeah, he's Mohegan driving. After I finish. Uh, Holy crap! Double you double duty, it up. Man. Yeah. So Mohegan Sun over in Connecticut, where that is. We know where it is. So, you know, We're on the air over there at the station. Flat out, yeah. The, I yeah. just did a phone interview over there. Yeah. All right, cool. 
and that's it. And uh, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll see. The life soon. of a celebrity. Yeah, no, Fly man, around. it's rough, right? Web, web, uh, web Junk Twenty. Web Junk Twenty still coming on. I think it's nice. like new shit. Something. something How many Letterman's have you done? Did you do your second one yet? Two. Booked oh. again soon. Yeah, I, I like can put my foot down and just stop that. <laughs> well, come on, motherfuckers! Bring it! <laughs> bring it! Does he man. bring you on as a first guest yet, or are you still second guest? Which is still great. No, I'm to be, second guest. Oh, that's still, oh, that's still, that's still great to nice be fucking panel. Nice. No, no, no! For a comic to just come on and just do panel, it's fucking yeah. amazing. That's a that's mm -hmm. a fucking. Man, and not have to do stand up. Right? Yeah, yeah. Don't have to work. Oh well. Just go out there today. Anyway. Damn! Look at you, man. I know. Mm -hmm. I know, fellas. Thanks for having me. And are your third hey, one? Matter of fact, you're welcome for me being here. Yeah. Hey, are we going back Stop to less. the no gate, uh, the the negotiation table, or what? If the fucking Elo pays me a goddamn decent money. Because everyone's still talking. Black Phillips, what's going on? I'm not Black Phillips. We're can, still I negotiating. There's some people that's really left alone because they're cheap fucking Eric. We got into it a little today, and then Whoopi came in and kind of broke up the discussion. some lonely motherfuckers having, having bad relationships. That's right. I think we all need to sit down with Eric and discuss things. Thank you for your inspiration. Oh, penny pension, Eric. That's right. Do I need Jews to drop pamphlets on motherfucking oh, FM? Oh, boy. boy. Where's fucking goes. Skin Flint Logan, as we call him? Skinny Skin Flint Patrice Logan. Skin Where's Flint. Pinch Penny Eric? Do I need some flyers to drop like this is Lebanon? Well, you know what? If, if you're going to be greedy and not appreciate what the company offers you, then Why I got no mercy for you. Why you spend all the fucking company funds on those picnic table shirts you're wearing there, <laughs> Eric? Why? And those free Oprah so, watches? So much anger. I know. I know. So much anger. Yeah, anger. That's true. You I thought. I thought. I changes when he sits here. When he's here, right. it's like, yeah. 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 Hey man, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, <laughs> Elo, <laughs> don't think Why do it's gonna to be, be like way? Whoopi, and you sit down and everything gets nice. <laughs> Your shirt fucking sucks. I don't oh. agree. I think that it's 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 it's, it's a jubilee for the eyes. <laughs> a shirt jubilee. Looks like, <laughs> your shirt looks like a, a shirt. Your shirt looks like it must look like when you're having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I see picnic tables! I'm gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> The kids are falling down, having epileptic fits when he walks down the sidewalk. It's an eye chart. That's what you see when you're looking at the grimace and you get a concussion. <laughs> what's, those, what's those things people do now? Suko? A su Sudoku. 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 Yeah, he's Take you and your Sudoku. But... <laughs> really? He's a fan crossword puzzle. Uh, uh, Four letter word for something to avoid in our community. Your fucking shirt I have an like, A. Hey, that shirt looks like a Puerto Rican Elvis picture. That you, you're moving well, it's and it's Another picture. There's, you know what? I see a Tyrannosaurus. There's, there's, yeah, just stare at it. You'll see the boat. <laughs> Your guys have to adjust. Look past his shirt. That's, that's you know, that, shirt's a, that shirt's a colorblind exam. If you look really close, you see like a green sea. If you, if you spin in circles, we'll all remember shit from our childhood. <laughs> that shirt should come with a woo, woo, woo. Oh, your Mondo topless shirt is stuck. <laughs> I get on CBS and get the apology tomorrow. No. That shirt came with free pasta. <laughs> hey, Ron Popeil shirt. You don't look like you have to wipe spaghetti sauce off in that shirt. <laughs> Your shirt does look like a shirt of a of a late waiter. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Let me wipe my hands off. What you, what shirt you looks have? like what McCluskey pulled off the table after he got it in the head. <laughs> I don't want my father's bob bother bob us. Oh. Harbor. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh. McCluskey got it in the head on your shirt. <laughs> he was wearing a uh. little shirt around his neck. Uh. How's the Italian food in this place? Uh. <laughs> nice shirt, Lou. God damn. <laughs> God damn, Mega uh. Exec and wearing that goddamn uh. awful shirt. I was uh. up here on the DL, dude. Oh, uh. uh. that shirt. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Now I flew in. Nobody knew I was here. Here's Elo when he finally looks at his shirt. And a man in white position. <laughs> I can tell I didn't buy it. I'll just go on record. I didn't buy the okay. shirt. Okay. Oh. On record, much like money, the clothes that you wear. Oh, I know. Uh, I never realized how much fun it is, though. <laughs> well, no, you didn't. But who did? Who did buy that? Lance Bass. <laughs> <laughs> That shirt should just have a hole in the crook of the arm where they could put the IV in. <laughs> I just figured if the big A bit didn't bomb, I'd probably get out of here without a shirt cut. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, thing, that thing hit the wall. That's why I left the studio in a hurry. Uh, that shirt makes you look thin and fat at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> Enough about the shirt. Oh. Oh, no. I deserve it. I'm you must that. have hated that torso. <laughs> Confusing everybody. Oh. Don't you hate Iraq shirt? <laughs> Elo, I suck. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. I know how to end a bit. <laughs> That's all right. Jesus. We have to drive, so we got to get out of That's here. The yeah. funny. Trace, thank you so much. That's what it yeah. looks like if you're having a stroke. <laughs> yeah. The that was the line of the <laughs> shirt goofing. <laughs> you get it, Patrice. <laughs> That's right. That should be on it. That shirt looks... Did it look better on you or on the mannequin? queen? <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> you know the mannequin that was on was kneeling in front of another mannequin. <laughs> 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 oh. oh shit, that fucking hurts. Oh, God, All right. I can't believe you're talking about Eric Logan's shirt. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, some trendy Looks shirt like he's wearing a pot holder. <laughs> it really is awful. Uh, it's not like a pot holder. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. Hey, hand me that coffee with your chest. <laughs> he should be grabbing Big A's shoes with that shirt. <laughs> Oh, there's so much there. Uh, I think we're done with Laura Ingalls dress. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go. Yeah. Patrice O'Neill, thank you. We'll see you up in uh, the always thanks, at the DCU man. Center. Oh, and we'll see you guys uh, live from BCN in <laughs> Boston tomorrow. State of the Union. Gas prices going up again. The Opiate Anthony Show on XM. Oh. Oh, 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 goes the weasel. Ramon, give me your sleeve.